France's Prime Minister, Manuel Valls, has proposed a new bill that would increase surveillance and grant French intelligence services greatly expanded powers. The anti-terrorism bill would allow the government to spy on digital communications or anyone they believe is linked to terrorism without judicial approval. The bill would also require ISPs and phone companies to hand over customers' data to the government, who could then hold recordings for a month and metadata for five years. Intelligence agencies could also place cameras and recording devices in the homes of suspected terrorists. Ball said the bill would not lead to mass surveillance, stating this is not a French Patriot Act. The bill will be debated in the National Assembly from April 13th. Looking to promote your business or cause to tens of thousands of loyal listeners? Well, for a limited time only, the Liberty Beat is offering you the chance to say big while spreading your message. It's simple. Just sign up for three months of advertising and get your fourth month free. Don't miss out on this unique opportunity. Just visit the LibertyBeat.com slash advertise and use coupon code GCN in the Describe Your Company section. This is the Liberty Beat for Tuesday, March 24th, 2015. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. One of Pakistan's top advisors is calling for short-range tactical nuclear weapons as a deterrent to aggression from India. Khalid Kidwai said an increase in tactical weapons would help make nuclear war less likely between the two nations. He also rejected concerns that Pakistan's nuclear arsenal was vulnerable to theft by the Islamic State and other extremists. Pakistan and India are long warring rivals who have been engaged in an arms race for years. The indigenous peoples of the Putumayo region of Colombia continue to protest against planned mining operations that threaten their way of life. As recently as March 13th, the communities took part in cultural marches and sit-ins at the entrance of the Ministry of the Interior. The people of Putumayo are opposing companies such as Anglo-American, who have been awarded contracts by the Colombian government, which will allow for the extraction of copper on the banks of the upper Putumayo River. The governments and corporations ignore the pleas of the indigenous communities, depriving them of their rights in their own territories. The Liberty Beat is sponsored by Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. Com. Support also comes from the Texas Bitcoin Conference, March 28th and 29th at ACL Live at the Moody Theater. Join scores of Bitcoin experts and enthusiasts from around the world for networking, talks, and a million-dollar Bitcoin 2.0 hackathon. Tickets are on sale now at TexasBitcoinConference.com. Use coupon code LIBERTYBEAT for $25 off your ticket. That's coupon code LIBERTYBEAT. This is the Liberty Beat for Tuesday, March 24th, 2015. I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. A local man treats his girlfriend to a sumptuous 20-second massage, and an area desk doesn't mind if people sit on it like a chair every once in a while. This is The Onion Week in Review. Following months of anticipation and global fanfare, the royal baby was finally born this week. Sources close to the royal family say the newborn prince spent his first days crawling around Buckingham Palace, eating his first meal, and even speaking his first words. The Onion has obtained this exclusive audio clip. <laughs> In other news, a man's annual six-sentence conversation with his cousin goes smoothly, a generous improv troupe performs for free, and a pool owner has a bathing suit that touched his penis you can borrow. This is the Onion News Network. Talk Live. You can dial toll free here, 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. And we've got Skype. You can Skype in at username lrn.fm. Uh, so lots to talk about as always. You can take control here. You can also join us uh, online over at freetalklive.com where you can actually submit content right there to the front page of the website. So go there. And get interactive. Joining you in the studio tonight, you've got me, Ian. And me, Mark. Coming up, the the lady who made headlines 
for famously saying on, or infamously, depending on how you look at it, for getting on the air on a television station and uh, saying, F it, I quit. Well, she's now been raided by the police. We can talk more about that coming up here in a moment. But Mark, you've got a story about uh, some very bizarre performance art. Uh, sort of, is it what the street performance that happened here? Well, um, I, I'm not entirely sure. I've got it. It's it's basically coming in an email here, um, and I think it's. Hmm. But it, it's inter- is interesting. Interesting. Trustworthy. Yeah. Um, um, absolutely. The. Okay. Um, I saw an, an article on this, but I haven't had uh, really much of a chance to look at it. But I just, just going on here, this is a quote from the article. This piece was primarily a trust exercise in which this uh, the author here, Am- Ab- Abramovic, she's an artist, excuse me, and in which she told viewers she would not move for six hours, no matter what they did to her. She placed 72 objects one could use in... Uh, pleasing or destructive ways, ranging from flowers and a feather boa to a knife and a loaded pistol on a table near her and invited the viewers to use them on her however they wanted. So uh, I wonder if she I wonder if she was inviting them with some sort of signage or actually speaking. I imagine since she's saying she's not moving, she couldn't possibly be speaking to people. I would think that that was the case. Okay. Initially, Abramovic said viewers were peaceful and timid, but it escalated to violence quickly. The experience I learned was that if you leave decision to the t- public, you can be killed. I felt really violated. Uh, they cut my clothes, struck, stuck rose thorns in my stomach. One person aimed the gun at my head, and another one took it away. Mm. It created an aggressive atmosphere. After uh, exactly six hours, as planned, I stood up and started walking towards the public. Everyone ran away, escaping an actual confrontation. This piece revealed something terrible about humanity, similar to what the uh, Phillips Zimbardo Stanford Prison Experiment or Stanley Milgram's Obedience Experiment, both of which also proved how readily people will harm one another under unusual circumstances. This performance showed just how easy it is to dehumanize a person who doesn't fight back. And it's particularly powerful because it defies what we think we know about ourselves. I'm certain that no one reading this believes the people around him or her are capable of doing such things to another human being, but this performance shows otherwise. And then, um, interestingly, so every, um, every single person who told me, ignore them, they'll go away. You can't let them know they bothered you, and they'll stop if you don't see and, or react. Well, all that was bullcrap. My entire school career. I want you to look good and hard at this. So it's uh, very interesting. The point, um, it, I think that— Is this 30 years old, 40 years old? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. okay. So what I'm looking at here is uh, I, I just searched when you were talking because you said this came in an email. Of course, right. my well, immediate— you, you told me you liked the article right, about right. a minute before the show, and I yeah. was not ready. Well, my the immediate response was, well, this, you know, something that's forwarded in an email is obviously, you know, suspect immediately to me. Um, because there's a lot of stuff that gets forwarded in, in emails, and so when you were talking, I did a Google for one of the things that was said in the article just mm-hmm. to see what I could dig up. Uh, there was a post from two years ago on Reddit with this particular language, and it says Marina Abramovic Rhythm Zero 1974. Maybe that was her birth date. Maybe she's you know, 40 years old or something, and, and this was done a couple of years ago. I'm interested in it learning sounds more about like, it. Um, it. It sounds like performance art, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't doubt that this was performance art. I just, you know, I'd, I'd be interesting because it does show here on this uh, Reddit that there is some kind of a video to accompany this, but the video is marked as private on YouTube. So uh, it would be interesting to, to learn a little bit more about this and exactly what the, the situation is. I mean, yeah, there's some weird, sick people out there. I can't say that it surprises me at all, but let's go to Mitchell in Ohio. Mitchell, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Okay. My first thing I want to say, Michael Savage, I mean, I don't like him. I like you all pretty well. But, um, no, I was told that um, Jesus is coming. I mean, it come to me, and he was sent. No you were told that what? You're a little muffled. Yeah. I, it's hard to make out what you're saying. Maybe pull the phone back just a little bit from your mouth. Okay, um, Jesus is coming, and no less than a year, 
And, I mean, within my lifetime, I can guarantee you. Um, okay, and who told you that? My, uh, well, I, I, hear, I talk to my, more or less myself all the time, but I'm a whack job. I got my crazy paper, but I'm not on no SSI or nothing like that. Um, Michael Savage, uh, he ain't no good. I mean, y'all pretty good, like I said. Well, I um, want to talk about So Jesus. you told yourself that Jesus was coming? Uh, no, 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 no. Who, who told uh, you I was, that? I, I had two friends sitting with me up there in the house. A crazy um, house? No, in his house. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, I ain't never been in one of them. Gotcha. But uh, uh, it just popped in my head all of a sudden. It said to go viral and say Jesus is coming. Um, I heard somebody So it popped in your head? Yes. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, so you, you're hearing voices. Oh, well, yeah, but they're good voices, ain't they? <laughs> you know, they tell me to go Just, kill people. Or, uh, that's good. Like, yeah, that's good news. Good voices. You're right. So this happened, um, you know, when you get really involved in the whole religious thing, oftentimes you can get... Uh, it, it can, you can make one myopic, like you can start focusing on uh, things like the rapture. I, I remember at one point when I was a, a Christian, I was concerned as to whether or not, and I was in prison at the time, whether Jesus was going to come before I got out of prison, and I wasn't going to be able to enjoy life on uh, the outside as a you know sort of good, productive individual. That was in 1990, I would suspect, as far as a date goes. So it's been... You know, we're talking 20-something years since then. Paul in the New Testament, and I can't tell you exactly where, but he uh, claims that Jesus is coming back soon in the New Testament, more than 2,000 years ago, or about 2,000 years, years ago. Um, so I wouldn't get too wrapped up in it. I, I suspect that, uh, you know, well, and the Bible's clear that no man knows the hour or the day. It's, it's unlikely that Jesus is coming back in your lifetime. Okay, okay, well, that's... Fine, we'll see about that. Okay. Uh, but um, the the Hillary Clinton thing. I mean, I wish people would just drop that. You know, she got emails. I mean, the government is crooked. I mean, we can all say that. There's no doubt about I mean, that. They, Mitchell, thanks for the call tonight. Right. I appreciate it. The toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. Uh, that's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. I gotta admit. I mean, the only thing I really heard about the the Hillary Clinton thing was the few things you've said about it on the yep. air, Mark. I guess she ran some kind of email server off the books uh, to send emails to where they couldn't be retrieved, like through freedom of information requests, essentially using her private email server for public purposes, but secretly. Is that kind of the gist of it? She was doing her email stuff on a private server yeah. that uh, she had control of, as opposed to, as you know, to the government. The government one. Um, we're employing the lady, and I am not. Well, I do not employ any of those people in Washington D.C. Okay, so nominally you're employing her, right? No, I mean, I've never uh, hired her for anything. Yeah, but the idea is, is that we are the government. Well, it's a ridiculous idea. Okay, fine, but it, it's a ridiculous notion that she works for us. But that's a yeah. nominal notion. What does it mean by when you say nominal? In name. Mean? Okay. Um, so supposedly. I don't subscribe to that. Okay. Supposedly. We'll use the term supposedly. All right. Supposedly she works for us. And if somebody works for you, you should be able to see what they're sending on um, you know, company time as far as emails go. And we can't. We'll come back with more here in moments. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can take control here on Free Talk Live. There's a man named Dr. Joel Wallach who is anything but your typical doctor, both a veterinarian and naturopathic physician. Doc asks, why does the United States spend more money on health care by far and still rank 50th in health and longevity worldwide? He believes that people should empower themselves with a basic understanding of nutrition, take charge of their health, and attain optimal health and longevity through nutrition, not by toxic prescription drugs that lead to side effects and more toxic prescription drugs. 
drugs. Doc Wallach's message is resonating with an increasing number of Americans who are waking up to all the big government, big pharma, and big insurance manipulation of our health care system. I'm George Norrie, and I like what Doc Wallach is saying and doing to enlighten people about health care. Visit brightsideben.com and listen to Doc Wallach's Deadly Recipes lecture. It makes a lot of sense, and I urge you to join the Brightside Ben team. Go to brightsideben.com. That's brightsideben.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. LRN.FM needs your help getting our satellite signal back on in Africa. Our satellite provider had us on at no charge from 2012 through February of this year when they pulled the channel off the air. Now we're trying to raise $22,000 to continue reaching people with the message of liberty in places where it's needed most. Please visit our Indiegogo fundraiser at africa.lrn.fm. Give what you can and share the link with your friends. africa.lrn.fm. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. You can dial in toll-free here, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online at freetalklive.com. You can also buy some delicious wine from Cameron Hughes. He's going to get you wine that you would normally pay $70 to $100 a bottle for, in some cases more than $100. You'll get some really fancy wine from some of the best vineyards out there. Thing is, you don't get to find out which vineyard it came from. See, what happens is Cameron goes and he buys sometimes some extra wine, sometimes uh, fruit from these uh, fancy wineries, and then he'll either uh, make the wine himself uh, in their facility or he'll just buy their extra wine. Either way, you get their quality of wine, this excellent wine, at an you know, average of $15, $20, $25 per bottle. And so it's a tremendous discount on what's excellent wine. The thing is, he can't put the name of the actual source of the wine on the bottle. Otherwise, you'd be undercutting them directly and they wouldn't sell them the extra. So you can 
cash in on this deal by going to chwine.com. Take advantage of the awesome prices and get an extra 20% off many of their best wines by using code FTL plus get free shipping with that code. Now, it is not a cheap thing to ship wine. So you're probably looking at paying, what did he say, like at least 36 bucks or something for shipping normally because this is fairly heavy product. Uh, you want to order several bottles right. at once. Liquid it- is heavy. I would right. assume that wine's somewhere around eight pounds a gallon, right? I don't know, but it's heavy. And uh, you it's can like go water. to chwine.com. You can click the microphone there in the, I believe it's in the top left, and enter the code FTL to get the deal. So again, 20% off. They're already low prices on some of the best wines there, select wines, and then free shipping on anything that you order at chwine.com with code FTL. It is a limited time offer, so don't delay on that free shipping deal. That's code FTL at chwine.com. Go try it for yourself. We did. We had the uh, we had like a wine tasting here uh, next door to the studio, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was great, and the wine was great, too. I mean, it's C- awesome. chwine.com, code FTL. Uh, we'll get back into this weird performance art here in a moment. I've been digging around... Uh, it turns out it did actually happen in 1974, uh, and the artist is in her 60s today. But I so. think it has a story to tell us. Yeah, well, let's get into that here in a bit. But first, to your phone calls and thoughts, you can bring up anything at 855-450-FREE. Don is on the line in Detroit. Don, you're on Free Talk Live. Hello, how you doing? I'm good, Don. Go ahead. What is your name? You're on with Ian and Mark. This is Free Talk Live. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, it sounds like a good show, uh... Yeah, I'm in southwest Detroit, and uh, I work in circuses, Okay. and we get on a lot of conference calls. Uh, are you familiar with uh, Doug and Joe Hagman? Nope, nope. never heard of them. Uh, Fritz Springmeyer, Bill Schnubbelin. Nope. Alex Jones. I've heard of Doug. Yeah, we know who Alex Jones is. Yeah, a lot of us get on conferences for, from all over the states. And, uh, is this Alex like conferences Jones. for people that work in circuses? Uh, we talk about anything, uh, about uh, music, about uh, New World Order stuff, about diet, about people that are suicidal, about um, ISIS, you know, anything. We talk about everything. Okay. Uh, we're going to be on at 8 o'clock tonight. We're on Monday through Friday. Well, with- you can't really call uh, talk radio and promote something else to do during <laughs> during our talk radio oh, okay. show. Did you have some sort of issue you wanted to discuss? Well, I'm, it's my first time calling. You sound like you guys are pretty interested, and I'm glad I got interesting through. Interesting you know, or uh, interested? Interesting. You guys sound oh, like thanks. you pretty, uh, you so- know— so thank you for the the accolades, but uh, the, you know, we do a talk show where we encourage people to call in and you know discuss whatever issue or thing they want to talk about. Um, you know, I'm not going to allow you to just plug something else that's going to uh, encourage our listeners to tune out from the show. Um, but it was, right. if there's some sort of uh, issue that you thought you wanted to share with our audience, now would be a good time for that. Well, could I say it real quick? I just heard about. A plane crash, and uh, did you hear about it on the news? Uh, German Germany. Is this the Alps? Is this the pl- a plane that crashed in the Alps? Possibly. I just heard it on a radio, like mm-hmm. maybe an hour or so ago. Right. I don't know if you know heard anything about it or anything. You know. Uh, well, the USA Today out. article cl- calls it a picture of horror, so it, it doesn't mm. sound like it's very good. Yeah, I can't. It's right. usually not good when uh, when planes crash, and I imagine it's even worse when they crash in very very cold mountainous places. Right. Last time that happened, I don't think anybody made it. Do you think the New World yeah. Order was involved, oh, or uh, <laughs> are you not sure yet? Who well, no, knows? They said they're looking to find about the black box, you know, any evidence yeah. what's in the black box thing, you know. So what's the deal with conference calls? I got to know. I mean, we're uh, we're in the 21st century, and is I mean, is this sort of like a relic from the 20th century, the old party line idea or whatever? I mean, yeah, we could do a Google Hangout. Yeah, nowadays, we have things like internet uh, chat rooms, Hangouts on Google. Right. Uh, you know, are these for people who don't have internet? Is that what the conference call thing is? Yeah, right. I don't have internet. And uh, one of our callers. How are you listening to the show tonight? Uh, the Genesis number, 1605. Ah, okay. You're doing a call in through the listen line. Gotcha. Okay. Right. Right, cool. So you're right. a non you're a non internet person living in the United States. I have to say that's pretty unusual. Uh, why not? Why no internet for you? Uh, 
I'm in a pretty rough neighborhood. I'm in southwest Detroit. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you've ever been here before. No, but, uh, no, and I, pl- I don't plan to. Yeah, it's pretty rough here. And, uh, you know, I lost my mom seven years ago. I lost my dad in 96. My two brothers, I play in bands and stuff. And uh, like I said, I work in circuses. And uh, a friend of mine that introduced me to some Alex Jones material, Ernie Speck, he gave me the number like five years ago. I got really sick, man, and I felt like I died, you know. So what happens? And, uh, I mean, so you call this number. How many people are on the call typically? Uh, it varies. Uh, sometime one of our guys, he's in, he's an Indian, uh, WillieWhiteFeather.com. He's in Oregon, and he made a movie with Kevin Costner, Ken Cup, and he teaches survival. On the conference and, calls, uh, he teaches. What he teaches yeah, survival. No, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you just sort of call just, in, well, and people are just talking about whatever. There's not like any kind well, of structure or schedule or like moderator. We talk about the blood moons, right? We talk about oh my anything, gosh. anything anybody. The we blood talk moons. About now we know it's gone moons. off the rails. Hey, thanks for the call, Don. Right. I appreciate it. Good luck with those calls. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You never hear about the conference call thing, uh, Mark, unless... Uh, what are you showing me? The Willie White Feather uh, website. Okay. It looks like it's from 1998. <laughs> yes, it does. It has that look. So the the conference call thing, uh, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of interesting. Like every now and then, you'll hear about uh, people having these uh, these conference calls, and they're usually in reference to sort of the obscure, uh, esoteric kind of courtroom theory movement. That's where I typically hear about these uh, these the calls. conference calls. Okay, it's like yeah, oh, they, you get in uh, the court and there's a yellow fringe on the flag and you cross the bar and you've got entered their jurisdiction. You know those kind of guys. Yeah, they always have conference calls. And it's like, hey, you call this number and you'll learn well, all about this. I have conference calls for to talk about uh, radio scripts and things like that for mm-hmm. new clients. Sometimes they'll, uh, you know, want to set these up, and you know, you call into a number, you type sure. some, something. Sure. I mean, they're in. still used for business, I guess. But usually, they can, whenever I hear about them, they're coming in kind of the kook context. More coming up on Free Talk Live. The freeze dry guy, leader in the preparedness industry for 44 years, is closing his California warehouse. Don't miss out on this huge warehouse sale and receive discounts from 30 to 40% off on the finest Mountain House and Packaway brand freeze-dried and dehydrated foods for long-term food storage or even everyday use. Plus deep discounts on all in-stock survival gear. The Freeze-Dry Guy is offering a wide selection of freeze-dried foods in number 10 cans and even individually packaged entrees. Remember, meats, vegetables, fruits, and long-range patrol rations are the main components for any long-term food storage. This is limited to stock on hand, so hurry and call 866-404-3663 or 530-798-4414. Remember, as always, free shipping to the lower 48 states. So hurry up and call 866-404-3663 or 530-798-4414. Remember, this is limited to stock on hand. The freeze-dry guy is your choice for survival food in an uncertain world. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. You can help by joining the AMP program for just $5 a month at amp.freetalklive.com and getting perks. That's amp.freetalklive.com. How many lawyers does it take to change a light bulb? None. They'd rather keep their clients in the dark. There are too many lawyer jokes to count. However, there are some lawyers with more noble intentions. At the Institute for Justice, we bring the light to our clients. We are a nonprofit public interest law firm with clear values and principles. 
At IJ, we fight for those whose most basic rights are denied by the government. Visit our website today at ij.org. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year's keynote speeches and panels will be announced via the Keenvention blog and Facebook, so stay tuned there for the latest. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keene for Keenvention this October 30th through November 1st. Tickets are available now at a special early bird price of just $50 via credit card or Bitcoin. That $50 price only lasts through the end of June, so don't delay. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more and look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, you can bring up anything that's on your mind. Just dial on in toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And no, we don't really do conference calls here on Free Talk Live, although every now and then... Uh, We've we'll, conferenced a few people. Yeah, every now and, and then, if we get some real crazy nut job on Free Talk Live, then we'll open up the phone lines and allow other people to call in and and talk to that person. Uh, by the way, welcoming uh, Rich Paul to the show. Good evening, the late sir. Rich Paul. Better late than never. We're always glad to have Let's you hope here. Not the late. Uh, you know, my favorite conference call is when we had. Um, uh, James in Arizona, and we conferenced him in with uh, Dave from Poughkeepsie. Oh, yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. And, uh, and they fought it out. A, well, basically, they didn't fight it out. Oh, yeah, did. James barely even spoke to Dave. He just uh, you oh, know, no, James insulted him. him sort of in yeah. the third person. Yeah, yeah. James owned Dave on that call. Okay. Uh, speaking of conferences, by the way, Mark, you and I were heading out at the end of the week to Austin, Texas for the Texas Bitcoin Conference. It's the second one. And I imagine it's going to be even better than the first. And the first one was pretty good. We were there broadcasting live last year. We'll be there again this year. We'll look forward to seeing you. And you'll get to see all kinds of great speakers. Because I can tell you, Free Talk Live is not really the attraction here. More like a sideshow. Uh, the attraction is uh, the great big names that are going to be having from the Bitcoin universe and beyond. George Gilder. He is a world-famous investor, economist, and author. Sambala Nair from IBM, the architect of their blockchain technology. David Johnston, Jason King, Robert Murphy, Anthony DiOrio, Charlie Shrem, the new Bitcoin felon, as he's describing himself. <laughs> and uh, many other speakers are still getting lined up. You can go to TexasBitcoinConference.com until, uh, I don't know when, but it's going to be soon. They're going to cut off those online orders, and you need to go get your tickets ASAP. TexasBitcoinConference.com. Use code FTL when you do. You'll save $25 off the already affordable $150 admission price. So again, code FTL gets you the discount over at TexasBitcoinConference.com. We'll be with you in Austin, Texas on March 28th and 29th. That's this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. It's a one-of-a-kind event, a lot of fun, and these uh, Bitcoin conferences are always a blast, but they did a great job in Texas last year. So uh, don't miss this one. Also, they'll be featuring the second million dollar Bitcoin 2.0 hackathon. And it must have worked out, right? Because they're doing a second one. So uh, TexasBitcoinConference.com, code FTL. So let's bring Rich up to speed here. He just walked in. We'll recap as well for listeners who uh, are just tuning in. At the very beginning of the show, we just barely touched on this earlier. Uh, Mark, you had been sent an email, and I immediately thought, okay, email, let's check this out. Maybe this is just total BS 
Uh, it was actually Richard Onley, who's a former mover for the Free State Project, who sent this to you. Our former minister of propaganda. And he, uh, it, this is actually old news, Mark. The, uh, yeah, we were wondering yeah, it is. when this came about because I Googled the, uh, the story and we were wondering if this happened in 1974 or if the artist was born in 1974. Turns out it happened in 1974. The artist is now in her late 60s. Uh, her name is Marina Abramovic. And this particular art installation was called Rhythm Zero. So I'm going to read the Wikipedia summary, which sort of covers some of the points that uh, were made in the email that you were sent. To test the limits of the relationship between performer and audience, Abramovic developed one of her most challenging and best-known performances. And she assigned a passive role to herself, with the public being the force which would act upon her. She placed on a table 72 objects that people were allowed to use. A sign informed them. So that was my other question was, you know, did she tell people about this or was there just some signage informing them? And they could use the items on her in any way that they chose. Some of these objects would give pleasure while others would be wielded or could be wielded to inflict pain or to harm her. Uh, among those were a rose, feather, honey, whip, olive oil, scissors, a scalpel, gun, and a single bullet. For six hours, the artist allowed the audience members to manipulate her body and actions. But it's not clear where this is taking place. That's another question that I was, you know, is she in like a an art, what do they call it, a, a gallery or something yeah. like that? Or is she on the streets of New York City? That I'm not real clear on. Uh, six hours, the artist allowed the audience members to manipulate her body and actions. This tested how vulnerable and aggressive the human subject could be when hidden from social consequences. By the end of the performance, her body was stripped, attacked, and devalued into an image that Abramovic described as the Madonna, mother, and whore. Additionally, markings of aggression were apparent on the artist's body. There were cuts on her neck made by audience members, and her clothes were cut off of her body. In her works, Abramovic affirms her identity through the perspective of others. However, more importantly, by changing the roles of each player... The identity and the nature of humanity at large is unraveled and showcased. By doing so, the individual experience morphs into a collective one and creates a powerful message. Abramovic's art also represents the objectification of the female body as she remains motionless. And I did see a picture, by the way, from this, and she, at least at this, the point in the picture, was topless. So presumably it says she was stripped. Yeah, so her, she, clothes, her clothes were cut off with uh, some scissors. Right. Uh, so going on here, by doing so, the individual experience morphs into a collective one. This type of repre this type representation also reflects key political issues such as BDSM, which complicates and questions the relation between art versus sexuality and public discourse. Initially, members of the audience reacted with caution and modesty, but as time passed and as the artist remained passive, people began to act more aggressively. As Abramovic described it later, quote, what I learned that or what I what I learned was that if you live leave it up to the audience, they can kill you. I felt really violated. They cut up my clothes, stuck rose thorns in my stomach. One person aimed the gun at my head, and another took it away. It created an aggressive atmosphere. After six hours, as planned, I stood up and started walking toward the audience. Everyone ran away to escape an actual confrontation. Now the emailer Mark suggested that this meant something, right? Yeah, it says. Uh the point it makes is that the much vaunted power of pacifism is delusional. Con uh, confrontingly so, uh, it's true, or excuse me, com uh, comfortingly so, it's true, um, at least to the point that the effort of ignoring consequential pain becomes too strenuous for denial. So his claim is, is that, you know, what this shows is that pacifism essentially doesn't work. What it does is it whips people up. And if you say you're a pacifist, immediately people begin coming up with the most violent of uh, scenarios mm. to to talk to you about. You say you're a pacifist. Well, what if somebody broke into your house and began to rape your wife, right? Like, you know, these things sure. immediately— they want to test you. Right. Th 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 those are the first things that you say. Now, I wouldn't—I'm a Quaker, and Quakers are sort of known for pacifism, but I don't believe that pacifism can exist. What do you mean? I, I think that it is a—it uh, just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know what 
people mean when they say pacifism. Well, my understanding is that a pacifist will not act to de- to, to defend even themselves from harm. Mm. So um, is that by using violence or not, could they use nonviolence to defend themselves? Define nonviolence. Would that mean like, you know, jumping over a pit of snakes so the person might fall in? I mean, what do you mean by that? Well, what if I um, have the ability, you know, a door that is a, a sturdy door between me and an axe murderer mm-hmm. and the axe murderer is running at me um, to, to cleave my skull. And I, I would say that is probably not pacifist. Pacifism. What do you think, Rich? When I close the door? Uh, closing the door, I would say, would be pacifism. The thing that most uh, self-proclaimed oh, pacifism. pacifists uh, will not do is defend themselves uh, with force. And and I consider it, it to be a, a nice try, but an ignoble uh, philosophy because the, the outcomes of pacifism is if you had a society of... Nothing but committed pacifists. Maybe that society could survive until the first sociopath was born Mm. or the first psychopath or the first person who had something wrong to him and wanted to kill. And then he could kill the entire society if he took his time. You know, they could run away from him, but they couldn't resist him. And eventually they would all be slaughtered. So any any definition of good which requires good to be sw- slaughtered by evil does is not what I would call good. I would also, um, you know, having thought about this a great deal, is, is there, I don't believe, first off, most people that are pacifists, uh, like the Quakers and that sort of thing, are not going to claim to be anarchists. Mm-hmm. So they're not going to say, we should have no laws. But laws are backed up with violence. What do you think, it, when, when you tell, when a police officer comes and takes away a bad person, they'll, they're willing to shoot that person in order to take them away. Um, so, you know, if you support the government, you can't really claim to be a pacifist. Well, okay. I think this is interesting. Do pacifists call the police? Let's let's continue the discussion here in a moment. And maybe you consider yourself a pacifist. We'd love to hear from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Maybe you can help us uh, really understand what it means. 855-450-3733. Most people know that drinking pure high alkaline pH water is the most important factor in maintaining high energy and vibrant health. Most experts agree that the water you drink should be at a pH level of 8 or higher. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops combine a unique formula of the most alkaline minerals. Using Plasma pH Drops is the best way to make your water alkaline to help you get rid of acid and regain your health and energy. Simply put 10 drops in the water you drink to raise the pH to a healthy level. Alkalizing water helps your body rid itself of acidic waste and increases the oxygen content of your body. Disease organisms like bacteria, viruses, and cancer cannot survive in an alkaline high pH environment. Order your bottle of AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops now by going directly to AlkaVision.com. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. Or call 269-409-1776. 269 409 1776 today. If the IRS has garnished your paycheck or seized money from your bank account, you need to get professional tax help now. Fast action is required to put a halt to these aggressive IRS collection tactics. You can count on the knowledgeable team of tax professionals at Wall & Associates. With over 30 years of experience, Wall & Associates has settled the tax problems of thousands of taxpayers for a small fraction of what they owed. For a free face-to-face consultation, call 1-800-425-4610 to put a wall between between you and the IRS, 1-800-425-4610, or look for us on the web at wallandassociates.net. We solve tax problems. If you hire Walland Associates today, you'll never have to talk to the IRS again. To stop the levies and seizures today, take action now. Call Walland Associates at 1-800-425-4610. Wall and Associates, 1-800-425-4610. Based on actual cases, results may vary, not a solicitation for legal services. Free Talk Live's recent Bitcoin sale was a big success, so we decided to extend the 50% discount through April 17th. Free Talk Live was the first ad venue in the world to accept Bitcoins for ads. We love the concept of a value-based digital currency that allows people to actually control their own money. We introduced Roger Veer, Bitcoin Jesus, to Bitcoins, and here's what he said. Free Talk Live is the premier voice for the peace and liberty Bitcoin will bring to the world. 
By broadcasting this message since 2011, Free Talk Live has been instrumental in creating the widespread adoption that we have today. If you need some advertising for your business, website, or organization, and you want to save half off, send me an email right now. Mark at freetalklive.com. This is your chance to save 50% on national radio and podcast ads. Just pay with Bitcoin. Email mark at freetalklive.com. That's mark at freetalklive.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Now, when I invited pacifists to call into the show, it wasn't to suggest you have to defend yourself or anything like that. Uh, but we just want to learn more. <laughs> just want to know. Well, the whole point is that they won't. So. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but, you know, we just want to know more about what it means to be a pacifist. I mean, the three of us here, I, you know, I, I flirted with the idea, but I just can't justify it. It just doesn't work for me, ultimately, because I wouldn't want to stand by as someone that I care about was being harmed. Uh, that I think would be too much for me. I'd have to do something about that. Uh, but generally, I'm opposed to violence. Generally, I don't believe in escalating conflict. Um, so I can appreciate where they're coming from, at least my understanding, my rudimentary understanding of, of the idea, not using violence against people who are using violence. I get that. And, and I think that it's good to avoid conflict in general. Uh, it keeps you out of trouble, keeps you out of jail cells, and keeps you, you know, hopefully, you know, maybe it'll keep you from being dead if you can avoid a conflict in the first place. But once violence comes, then you got to do something. At least that's how I feel about it. Now, Rich, there were some other comments that uh, that you wanted to make about this art installation from the 1970s uh, by a, a lady who is named Marina Abramovic. She's now in her 60s. and uh, She's 68 now called Rhythm Zero, where she was, I don't know where it happened, maybe it was an art gallery or on the streets, but she had a bunch of things that people could do things to her body with. Uh, Some things were nice, some things not so nice, and uh, she stood still basically for six hours as people manipulated her. I thought she sat. In various ways. It does say, after six hours, she got up Uh, and approached the audience. Yeah, it does say stood up, so yeah, she may have been... She may have been sitting down. I can't imagine standing for you know six hours would be time. grueling, um, yeah. and, you know, in one place and all that. Well, but sitting kind of- straight up, and when you see the pictures of her in this, as she appears to be quite rigid, um, sitting straight up would be grueling too. So, so Rich, you wanted to make a comment about that. Uh, she, her message at least, her interpretation of this performance art was something about how oh well, look how bad people are. Uh, yeah, it seems like her interpretation is that. You know, people in general are bad, and I don't know or are sadistic, and I don't believe as a scientist that she really uh, confirmed that. What she did show is that some people are sadistic. Some people take pleasure in, uh, in delivering discomfort to people, but that's something we've already known. They exist, and they're called sadists. And if you're having an art, uh, an art exhibition of this sort, that's somebody who would be attracted to it, just like sadistic people are attracted to becoming police. If you like causing pain, you go to you you. Uh, it's called sublimation when psychologists talk about it. You go to somewhere where you can psychologically, uh, you know, get what you want 
without social approbation by either going to an art show or becoming a cop. Yeah, I don't. I don't know <laughs> that every uh, person that uh, you know would would. Uh, start join police departments would uh, join for that reason but certainly it allows mm. people who might be able to be good at sort of hiding that behavior until they get on the the job um to to have a place to go right yeah well i wouldn't say that every cop is attracted to be a cop because he's a sadist i think some people actually suffer from the delusion that they're, that they're going to be protecting and serving the public um you know and i don't know what it is that prevents them from eventually realizing that they're protecting and serving us to death. But, uh, but I think that if you are a sadist and you know that there's this job of police officer uh, available that where you can hurt people as much as you want with impunity, that's the kind of job you're going to want. I was talking to a young man at a coffee shop who was getting ready to go into the military. This has been many years, uh, 12, 13 years or something like that. And he told me that, you know, I asked him, what do you want to go into the military for? And he said, you can kill people and get away with it there. Oh, wow. I mean, so those are the words. Those were the words out of his mouth. I wouldn't propose to know what it was that he was in, you know, what what his real reasons were. But it, it sounds like he had the desire to do some fighting, doesn't it? Uh, it sounds like he's got the desire to do some killing. Yep. Yeah. So, now, so this uh, brings me to a point on pacifism. I think that this term deserves a little more definition, too. Okay. It's one of these terms, kind of like democracy, that'll get employed in a general sense and then be defined by the listener and in its specific sense, right? So if you're anti-pacifism, you will gentr- generally um, start using immediately, like the three of us, right? You'll start looking at pacifism in its most uh, minute form rather than sort of the general term. Like pacifist can just be somebody who's against war, and I am. So I don't I know could, if that's true. I mean, I thought a pacifist was someone who goes all the way. Like you can oppose war and not be a pacifist. Well, you can be you a pacifist. A pacifist I, would oppose war for sure, but not everyone who opposes war is a pacifist. I'm looking at Brian saying. Kaplan's The Common Sense Case for Pacifism here from EconLog, uh, EconLibrary.org, uh, and he's using four different definitions that of pacifism that mm-hmm. basically say it's somebody who's anti-war. So there, I, what I'm saying is, is there's different definitions. Yes, a pacifist could be a person who refuses to employ what we would call any kind of uh, violent force. Um, violence is kind of a funny word, too, because it's from the root root word of violate. So Mm -hmm. it could mean to somebody aggressive force, or it simply could mean using bodily force, um, you know, to to stop somebody from doing something. But, you know, for me, when I think about, uh, you know, pacifism, I'm asking the question exactly how far can it go? Because if you believe in pacifism, you must believe in it for a reason. What is that reason? Uh, Quakers oftentimes would believe that God will protect them or it's God's will, right? Mm-hmm. These are the, the historical Quakers that, uh, you know, might have been, uh, you know, not not using pacifism for those reasons. If that's the case, then, I mean, who are you to—I gave the example of the axe murderer coming at you and you shutting a sturdy door to keep them away. Who are you to close the door? It might have been God's will that the axe murderer come at you with the the door open. Why, why are you closing the door? Well, if you're a pacifist and you believe that God is going to protect you, then I would suggest that you do some historical research in, <laughs> into what has happened to people who— believed that God was going to save them, and it's frequently quite horrific. Um. I, I, I would, okay, so that, it, it's funny, but I don't think that's what Quakers think. Um, I think that they would um, would have thought in the past that whatever happens is God's will, that mm-hmm. life on earth is fleeting and unimportant compared to life in the hereafter, so therefore the way you conduct yourself on earth is more important than, um, is, is, you know, disproportionately more important, and you should attempt to, you know, sort of not make mistakes in this way so i mean you know whatever it's interesting i don't i'm still not going to ascribe to pacifism in that form either so uh when when we're talking about pacifism i guess i'm looking at the wikipedia article here and there's a fairly lengthy section about defining pacifism 
And what I was talking about when I was talking about somebody who would not even defend themselves or others from attack, yeah. they call that absolute pacifism. Okay. So the Wikipedia article says that pacifism covers a spectrum of views. So absolute pacifism uh, is generally described by the BBC, apparently, as one who believes that human life is so valuable that a human should never be killed and war should never be conducted even in self-defense. The principle is described as difficult to abide by consistently due to violence not being available as a tool to aid a person who is being harmed or killed. Well, if it says that you sh they should not be killed, and then you can just use non-lethal violence to, uh, to, to, to stop them. But, you know, God forbid— well, not if you're an absolute pacifist. Well, they, they just that was the definition they just gave. Um, that was what they just said. And I don't believe that that would be the definition of an absolute pacifism. Agreed. However, that's not what that definition just gave. Well, it's the it's a summary in Wikipedia of what the BBC allegedly said at some point. Uh, let's see. The principle is difficult to abide by. It is further claimed that such a pacifist could logically argue that violence leads to more undesirable results than nonviolence. And yes. Well, I just want to point out that there's this uh, the, the the prisoner's dilemma. This is this uh, psychology, this game theory thing mm -hmm. where this is whether uh, someone rats on somebody, right? Yeah, this is this whole thing about uh, people ratting on each other, and essentially, if they cooperate, then they you know good things happen. If they don't cooperate, then bad things happen to them. And when this game theory is employed by in computer models, the most successful system for handling uh, you know somebody who doesn't stick by their word, is a system they call tit for tat. This is one use of retributive force for every time the person sort of betrays you. Um, this is the person being the computer model. And this was the most successful system when employed over the course of, you know, whatever, all these different um, computer models for handling people. So it's uh, the most merciful at the same time the most effective. And what this means is is that one instance of retributive force used against a person who has, uh, you know, sort of stepped out of line and done something wrong or evil or bad or whatever is the most effective means. Okay, uh, as a programmer, I'd like to point out that tit for tat is a strategy used against computer programs, not against humans. So whether it would be the, it may well be the most effective. All right, more coming up here. And also the prisoner's dilemma. I don't think you quite defined it accurately. We can talk about that too coming up. Free talk lot. Hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists. Get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique slingshots and sling bows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of Slingbow. A new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at slingbow.com. This is David Cordani, CEO of Cigna. For more than 20 years, Cigna has worked with the March of Dimes to address premature births in the U.S. Thank you for taking time to learn more about how you could support March for Babies in 2015. Premature births cause horrible suffering and cost billions of dollars each year. That's why Cigna is committed to raising funds and awareness through our employees, family, and friends to improve the health of moms and babies. Please join us in supporting the March for Babies. Start your team today at marchforbabies.org. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. 
From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Tuesday, March 24th, 2015. Silver is trading at $16.89 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,187 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $267. Antiwar.com reports eight civilians were killed yesterday when Libyan warplanes trying to soften up the region around the capital for an attempted military takeover bombed a refugee camp full of Libya's Tawarga minority. The Tawarga were seen as pro-Gaddafi during the Libyan revolution and have been heavily persecuted since then, with many of them living in camps after being chased out of their homes. Tawarga does not technically refer to a specific ethnicity, but has rather become a catch-all term for Libya's Blacks. There was a town of Tawarga near the city of Mistrata, which was a majority black town. The entire population was expelled during the Civil War, and those refugees have been hounded elsewhere ever since. The former town of Tawarga is now called New Mistrata by the city of Mistrata's militia, whose forces now control several cities around West Libya and parts of Tripoli. The internationally recognized Libyan government is running out of a single town in far eastern Libya, though with the backing of of Egypt and others, they aim to retake the country. They were not particularly clear on the hitting of the refugee camp, however. After it was announced by U.S. Ambassador Deborah Jones, Libya's military denounced the allegation and demanded a public apology, saying they'd hit a military base and everyone killed was a combatant. A short while later, another one of the Allies claimed that the attack hit an empty field near the refugee camp and that no one actually died, though other officials later conceded that the attack was as initially reported. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. UPI reports the U.S. Supreme Court decided Monday not to review a challenge to a federal appeals court ruling upholding Wisconsin's strict voter identification law. The denial of the review of the challenge could be seen as a victory for Wisconsin's governor and possible presidential aspirant Scott Walker, who endorsed the law. It could also encourage other states to make identification rules for purposes of voting more severe. The Wisconsin law requires one of eight forms of identification and was hotly debated in the state's 2011 gubernatorial race, which Walker won. The law was upheld by the Supreme Court in 2008, but its implementation was blocked by a Supreme Court ruling prior to the 2014 election. A similar law in Texas was struck down by a federal judge as intentionally discriminatory, but went into effect before the 2014 election after it was permitted by an appeals court. In Survivor Max by Davi Barker, 11-year-old Max must survive the zombie apocalypse alone in New Hampshire. Slow-moving and non-thinking, the lame brains swarm his home searching for living flesh. Max must apply his Porcupine Freedom Scouts training to plan his escape, but first he must prove that he's too smart to die. Look for Survivor Max on Facebook and Amazon or read Chapter 1 free at SurvivorMax.com. Reuters reports Utah Governor Gary Herbert signed a law on Monday that makes Utah the only U.S. state to authorize the use of firing squads for execution if lethal injection drugs are not available. The Republican-sponsored bill, which was passed by the state Senate earlier this month, was introduced amid national concerns about the efficiency of lethal injections. Marty Carpenter, the spokesman for the Republican governor, said in a statement, Those who voiced opposition to the bill are primarily arguing against capital punishment in general, and that decision has has already been made in our state. The new law says a firing squad should be used if the state cannot lawfully obtain the substance or substances needed to conduct an execution by lethal intravenous injection 30 or more days before the date set for the procedure. Several U.S. states have had to search for new drugs for their lethal injection cocktail after many pharmaceutical companies, mostly in Europe, imposed sales bans about four years ago because they objected to having medications made for other purposes being used in executions. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com.
It's the Onion Radio News. A spokeswoman gives birth to a spokeschild. This is Doyle Redland reporting. Tacoma spokeswoman Tammy Barker became the proud mother of a bouncing baby spokeschild last night. According to spokespeople, Barker, a spokeswoman for a Tacoma-based pharmaceutical firm, the birthing process was a major success. Peter Wahlberg, spokesman for Tammy's husband, Phil, had this to say. At 9.17 p.m. last night, an eight-and-a-half-month-old spokes fetus was delivered alive and through the miracle of birth became a seven-pound, six-ounce spokes child. Spokes father and spokes mother are doing fine. Spokeswoman Barker is expected to be released from St. Robert's Hospital tomorrow. The spokes child will remain in the hospital's media care unit for several weeks of training. Doyle Redland for The Onion Radio News, online at theonion.com. This is The Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. We're launching into the second hour of the program. You can dial in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online. Drop by freetalklive.com and enjoy the features on the site totally free. Again, that's freetalklive.com. For those of you just tuning in with you in studio, it's Ian. Rich Paul. And Mark. We were talking about a, a strange art exhibit that happened back in the 1970s. And it's interesting because, uh, well, what happened was this lady, Marina Abramovic, I believe is her name. Yes, Marina Abramovic. She's now in her 60s. She would have been in her 30s at the time. Uh, she stood or she sat somewhere and uh, was there for six hours. Uh, she put not out moving. a bunch. Right. She did not move unless she was manipulated by the uh, the audience, so to speak, the visitors to the exhibit. Uh, she, if you put her arms straight up, it, you know, I mean, it, she wouldn't be able to hold it there. I guess she'd have to just sort of slowly let it back down. I guess, um, or let it just flop. She had 72 implements. She called the exhibit Rhythm Zero, where uh, she had nice things like, uh, like this feather, is why we can't have nice things. A rose, olive oil. She also had a scalpel, scissors. Uh, she said that uh, after the six hours, her clothes were cut off. There were cuts made on her neck. Uh, so it was kind of a disturbing piece, and this led us to a conversation about pacifism in general and, you know, what is pacifism, which led to another conversation about the prisoner's dilemma, and I thought it was important to kind of clarify the prisoner's dilemma. We can do that here in a moment, uh, but Willie is on the line in Oregon. Willie, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian Rich and Mark. Uh, I'll see you all. Uh, Rich and Mark, uh, yeah, I had a call from Don Hercules in uh, Detroit. He told me to call you, fellas. Uh, I did not know I was going to be. Is this a, is this, does this radio show go all over the world? Yes, it does. Oh, good, good. Uh, I'm going to say something very important. We are right in the middle of four blood moons right now. The next one coming up is April 4th, and the next one after that is uh, September 28th. What's and right happen? in the middle of four blood moons, we had, uh, well, it's uh, going to be a very interesting time. When, when, Isn't it uh, always an interesting time? When, interesting time? More so now. When okay. there were four blood moons in, 14, in 1492, Columbus showed up. And now we have what the Hopi called the Red Star Kachina, the, the planet X, Nibiru, approaching the Earth. And we're right in the middle of of four blood moons. I'm sorry, I don't know what a kachina is. Nibiru, the, these terms are meaningless to a me. A kachina is a, a is a, a, a the the spirits that came and taught the Hopi the ceremonies and the dances up okay. on the three faces. Now this is interesting only in that okay, you're they, you're they, coming at this from a different perspective. We've had people call about this four blood moon thing. It was the first time I'd ever heard about it. it was just a few weeks ago here on Free Talk Live, uh, and it seemed to be more of like a fundamentalist Christian thing. But now you're coming at it from sort of a Native American uh, theme. Yeah, these are strong signs. I'll give you an example of the MO, modus operandi. Uh, the Cherokee alphabet by Sequoia has 85 symbols in it. It was the first written Native American alphabet. Okay. And uh, Sequoia was also on the Trail of Tears in 1838. 
Today marks March 24th, 2015, marks the 175th anniversary of the Cherokee Trail of Tears today, March 24th. And so the reason that millions of Americans have Cherokee, Choctaw, Chickasaw, Cree, Seminole blood, they do not know their roots. And when a person does not know their roots or where they came from or their history, they are easy pickings for whoever wants to take over the country. They are playing the same game on American people that they played on the Cherokee people in, 18, in the 1830s. First, they took away the guns. Next, the cavalry came at dawn, and at Bayonet Point, the Cherokees were herded into concentration camps. My great-grandparents were on the Cherokee Trail of Tears. Sorry to hear that. Then they waited till winter. They moved the Cherokees out of the concentration camps, and many of them were barefoot, and they walked 1,000 miles from Tennessee to Oklahoma, Choctaw for OK, my home. And so of the 17,000 Cherokee taken, 4,000 died on the Trail of Tears. How many and how many? 17,000 17, and 4,000 4, died. 17,000. The entire Cherokee nation were, were taken from their mountain homes and, uh, and driven uh, 1,000 miles. It's a horrible, right. uh, horrible yeah, uh, event, and what you're saying is— Does it you have think, anything to do with the blood moon? Yeah, well, that was what I was wondering. How do you, how you tie this in? Yes, yes, because now Hedacobolus is approaching. And What's that? as it approaches, Hedicobolus? that's that's the uh, that is the giant comet approaching the Earth. It's actually <laughs> Earth is the size of a walnut, and Hedicobolus is the size of a cantaloupe. Okay. And that's a giant comet, all right. From behind the sun. Where where is yeah, this it, thing? It, oh, it's it, always well, behind the actually, sun. Actually, it's a, it's a planet. It's a planet. I'm sorry. Say that again. I, I'm just. I'm trying to figure out why we don't know this things. Are, uh, I'm like why I've never heard about an object that's about the size of. Geez, I don't know. Maybe you're hearing uh, about it now. Yeah, like you know, Uranus. So what is this? Is the fear six, that the comet's going times. to strike the Earth? The comet's going to strike the Earth. No, no, it's going. Okay, if you look at the. Uh, I don't have a computer, but my buddy put me on that computer thing. And you look at the triple W Willie Willie with a Y WillieWhiteFeather dot com. Hey, that guy! Somebody that, called about you, you earlier tonight. Yeah, there was a we, we actually went to the website there not too long ago. We actually went to the website. Yeah, you got to freshen that website okay. up, Willie. And you got to you got to hire somebody who who knows what they're doing to uh, to bring that up into the twenty first century. So make it clear for me, like, what does the comet have to do with the four blood moons? Have to do with the Trail of Tears? Wrap it all up. You're right there Pardon me. Uh, we'll get a little delay. Uh, it's coming in. It sounds like Hedicobolus is the name of the comet. If you go to my website and you go all the way down to the bottom, you will see uh, a second opinion on Planet X, and it's a uh, a Colombian astronomer. He's a genius, and his name is Carlos Maurice Ferraro, and he said. It will take everyone by surprise, and the governments will lose control. And that's why they're not announcing it to the people. They do not want to use Hold lose on. This control. comet is going to uh, result in the governments losing control, and it's not even going to hit the Earth? Anarchist comet. This sounds pretty well, awesome. It, it's, not go it's, it's going to come within, uh, according to Dr. Ferraro, it's coming within... Uh, 14 million miles of the Earth. It'll be like standing next to the freeway as an 18-wheeler goes by right in front of you. It, Sounds like it'll be pretty cool uh, to watch, the then. The Hopi elders have told me that our Mother Earth would roll over four times, and already we can see the poles starting to shift. Already we can see that they've had to readjust the compasses on the aircraft. And hmm. so as it comes in... Carlos says, watch this triangular area that he drew across the Earth. The three points of the triangle to watch as it increases. This is getting a little, uh, a little too esoteric uh, from, from my taste, i got to say. You're, lo you're losing me here. Um, but well, let me see if I'm following you, Willie. You're saying that this comet's going to come close, 
uh, to the Earth. Theoretically, I mean, in the scale of universes, it's going to come close. And uh, it'll be something uh, really exciting to watch. But somehow it's going to result in the government's losing control. This is what I'm most interested in, is how a comet coming close, but not quite, is going to result in governments losing control. Is it because people are going to panic? Uh, yes, they're not going to believe the government anymore. The government will lie, and they will try to over-explain. Again, again. But as it's not really a comet. It's traveling at the speed of a comet. It's traveling at 300 how miles How do you spell Herr Kobolus? How do you, how do you spell that? H-E-R-C-O-L-U-B. U.S. Right. Hey, thanks for the call, Willie. Appreciate it. Uh, the toll-free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. We'll see if we can learn a little more about it. It's Free Talk Live. The human body is extraordinary. Despite all the stresses we inflict upon it, it still works hard to stay in balance. Thousands upon thousands of people rely upon heart and body extract to help their body stay balanced. This excellent 100% natural herbal formula helps maintain healthy blood pressure levels, cleans arteries, promotes good circulation, balances cholesterol, and more. HB extract paired with healthy lifestyle choices like good nutrition and exercise can give you a life free of pain, sickness, and fear. Recapture your youthful vitality and experience your body healing itself with the aid of HB extract. It's extremely effective and it starts working in just days. Visit hbextract.com to learn more and to read scores of testimonials from satisfied customers. And we've never increased our price in over 10 years. That makes heart and body extract as great a value now as it was the first day we sold it. A healthy heart is a happy heart. Call 866-295-5305 or go to hbextract.com. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. decades of searching the cosmos, today NASA announced that what it was really looking for was right here on planet Earth all along. For years, we foolishly chased after comets, moons, and stars. Outer space may be beautiful, but it's not as beautiful as the smile of a child, nor as sublime as a good bottle of wine shared among friends. Our search ends where it began, here on this big blue marble. Astronomers say that while their telescopes were pointing at Mars, they never even noticed the planet that was right in front of them. NASA now plans to appreciate what they already have. The agency's latest report, entitled Wonder is Everywhere, Finding the Beauty in the Everyday, calls for further study of the little things that truly give life meaning. Warm rain on a summer day, the smell of pine trees, touching the worn paper of your favorite book, that's what's always made us happy, not some asteroid a million miles away. This is the Onion News Network. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. 
Sign up now at freestateproject.org. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Well, are you scared? Hercobolus. Is it coming? Will it destroy life on the planet as we know it? No, it's not coming. No? No. How can you be so sure, Mark? You just had a Native American whose uh, grandfather died on the Trail of Tears, or great-great-grandfather. Great, great, great I'm not sure how many greats would be involved, but the, the math doesn't entirely add up for that. Maybe great-great. Anyway, he has predicted, according to some Colombian New Age author, V.M. Robolu, that uh, there's this gigantic planet that he called a comet that will approach the Earth with catastrophic results. This is according to Wikipedia, Hercobulus, H-E-R-C-O-L-U-B-U-S, or Colobus. Anyway, the uh, some of the sum- summarized bullet points here from Wikipedia say that on a previous approach, it wiped out Atlantis. So apparently it's been by before. And a civilization that inhabited it, which inspired all global flood myths. Its proximity will cause volcanic eruptions and earthquakes and ultimately a pole shift, which is what he was referring to there, suggesting that the shift was already occurring. Uh, It will also cause a deadly epidemic that official science will be powerless to stop. The only escape is the elimination of psychological defects and astral projection. Those who work on their spiritual regeneration will be taken to a safer place or a safe place. Ercobolus was written in 1998, but the author apparently picked the idea from his teacher, Samuel Anwer, who in the 1970s preached about Hercobolus being the end of the world in religious terms as a punishment for the so-called shameful humanity that deserves the karma that approaches and that did not want to listen to the voice of the prophets, being the founder of a theosophy slash anthropology. Anthroposophy-influenced New Age Gnostic Church. He also threw Atlantis and the Kala Yuga into the mix. In his version, Hercobolus is a part of the distant solar system of Tlo, or Tylo, which he identifies as Barnard's star. Needless to say, despite his claims to the controversy, Hercobolus is not an accepted scientific fact. So, but is, uh, Willie claimed that it was hiding behind the sun. Um, I've also heard people claim there are aliens hiding uh, behind the sun as well. Where else will they hide, right? right. Mm. So there you go, Herr Now we know there's a plenty bit of room back there. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Um, I've heard there are alien ships in front of the sun. Not this is from someone who I actually know in person who actually believed this. I don't know if he still believes it because at the time he thought that the aliens were coming to Earth and or already were on Earth and that the ships were going to come as reinforcements. At I think some that point. that's, that's the, as believable as the Hercobolus claim. That's the most hmm. relevant thing to talk about here. Is the alien that, invasion. Well, the, the the fact that the world, uh, the 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 destruction, the imminent destruction of the planet has been predicted many. Time many time times again. over. Now, mm-hmm. I'm sure that it happened prior to the 20th century when we could really document these things. The much predictions, better. you mean? Yeah, the predictions. Late 20th century, you got much better uh, documenting these. But um, you know, early 20th century, there were certainly some. And as I understand, and they were it, all wrong. Even some in the late 19th century. But surely there was, a, you know, these these people, these doomsday cults, were around predicting the end of the world for, you know, quite some time. I would go so far as to claim that Christianity is one of these that just it's a very large doomsday cult. Right? Right, well, I mean, if if Paul believed that Jesus was coming back soon, mm. um, then. You know, maybe that was the case. Other people, the preterists, would claim that uh, all the um, all the predictions of the New Testament have already taken place, and that everything's all wrapped up, and um, you know, whatever was whatever we thought was going to be the end of the world has already occurred, and so whew, we're safe on that one. But um, yeah, I mean, the fact that so many predictions have been made and nothing's happened. That's what should give people sort of the uh, you know the ability to lay their head down and and, and go to Rest sleep tonight. Rest easy. Yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> Although you know, I did like the idea as he suggested that the governments were going to lose control because mm. of uh, this big old planet 
or whatever. Yeah, well, be it, cool. yeah, but liking the idea doesn't make something more likely to happen. That's true. You know, it just makes you more likely to be a cult member. Um, so <laughs> these uh, the claims in the blood moons here, I see no oh, evidence God, of even that. Moons. I mean, I don't know whether, you know, how do I know that a blood moon, and I'm not going to investigate it because I don't care. Um, how do you know that what? That a blood, that four blood moons coming along in the past was, um, last time was in 1492. Well, this is the most ridiculous thing. I mean, you can find that out, right? Like there's, uh, you, you can predict how, be scared. Right. I mean, astronomers are able to say, oh, well, you know, this is where Mars was in 1970. I mean, they can go back and they can, based on the motions of uh, the, the planets, figure these things out. Uh, so, you know, you can, and there's recorded history and people, they know when the last four blood moons were. But the thing that they're doing is, is they're saying that, ah, during these four blood moons, it was an interesting time. Things were crazy and this happened over in the Middle East because that was what happened last time. The first mention that we had about these four blood moons was uh, like Christian fundamentalists who'd called in to talk about this, saying that every time the four blood moons happens, that something dramatic occurs in the Middle East. Well, something dramatic is always occurring in the Middle East. Interesting mm. things are happening around the world every day. I mean, there's every day there's natural disasters all around the globe. Mm. I mean, you can they, you can look at maps that show where all of the earthquakes and the tornadoes and things like that have been. Uh, so, you know, there's political intrigue, wars. There's always something happening to suggest that things get more crazy during the you know the four blood moons uh it just doesn't it doesn't make sense it just doesn't it doesn't come together for me I, well i mean i maybe maybe it is maybe it isn't i think we would have to look sit down and look look into it but i just don't care that much um i i'm apparently confident. a lot of people do i like i'm shocked if by how many calls we've had end. about these four yeah. blood moons well do you know the mathematical uh name for for the phenomena you're describing in the blood moon uh, no, the, the idea that, you know, you observe a, a, a weird phenomenon uh, in the sky and you match it up with a... Uh, confirmation bias? Exactly, yeah. confirmation bias. If you think the world's going to end, then you have no use for your money. Please go to amp.freetalklive.com, <laughs> and we're trying to run a, an Africa uh, fundraiser. Well, you don't go to AMP to do the African okay. fundraiser. That's, That's separate. Uh, but since you've got a bunch of money, you could go to both of those things. You could go to amp.freetalklive.com and AMP the show. You know, we only ask generally for $5 a month, but if you want to get really generous, uh, you could sign up for Platinum. In fact, there's even a custom option where you could put in any amount you want to. Just to, give it all to, to us. To donate. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, we, we, we'll take it and we'll put it to good use in these remaining m months of our lives. Oh, no, uh, you won't. Lives. The world's ending. Well, not tomorrow, Mark. I mean, okay. Right? So there you go. Uh, that's the latest on the four blood moons, which, again, I'm really surprised how many people have been calling about this. And now, not just fundamentalist Christians, but like an old Indian guy calling in about this. That doesn't mean that it mm. holds any more weight. Uh, or it would anything. if it was a horror movie. But but it's weird. You know? it's, <laughs> it's just unusual. No, usually you don't get the Christians on the same page as the, uh, you know, the old Indian guy, right? Right. Well, that's when you know you're in trouble. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. So if you're afraid of uh, Hercobolus or the four blood moons or whatever other thing, whatever natural phenomenon is freaking you out, you can call It'll in. It'll sell some books, I can tell you that. Well, apparently the dude is giving the book away for free. So, you know, I'll give him credit for that. At least he's not charging for his, uh, you know, his theory. Well, I think a good capitalist would charge for it. I mean, if you've got something of value... Well, you know, there's an argument there, but if indeed you want to spread a message about something, then it would make sense to not put a price tag on it in the hopes that it will be propagated further because of that. Uh, true, although putting a price tag on it, then that money becomes your way of continuing to publish it. This is true. <laughs> Ian really doesn't like price tags on things. It just it bothers him. Well, it makes a very bad tag. libertarian. Price tags sense. make sense uh, at a, a store. You know, like a 101 Deals thrift store or something like Price that. Price tags make sense for anybody who wants to sell something, sir. 855-450 free. We give our show away for free, and then we ask for contributions. That's how How's we do that our going? business. It's going pretty well. More coming up here on Free Talk Live. <laughs> Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional 
digital installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows, pause and rewind live TV, even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Boost Kit Essentials Nutritionally Complete Drink. Providing your picky eater with essential nutrition and great taste in one drink. Visit us at kitessentials.com. To make sure your kids eat healthy, follow the five-a-day plan. Serve three servings of vegetables and two servings of fruit daily. Remember, a serving could just mean a piece of fruit or a half cup of veggies. If your kids are picky eaters, ask a nutritionist about other sources. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. You can dial in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. You can also join us via Skype. The Skype username you'll need is lrn.fm. Just send a contact request to that user, and we will approve it as soon as we notice it appearing. And then at that point, it'll be easy for you to call on Skype from that point forward. Very, very uh, sounds great, by the way, when you're on Skype. And, of course, you can still call old school at 855-450-FREE. Uh, Mark, tell me about Fort Galt. FortGalt.com is uh, well, it's a website for a project where they're building this uh, resort or uh, complex condominium hotel thing. Uh, I really don't even know how to describe it precisely with one word. It's down in. Uh, is timeshare appropriate? I mean, I know that evokes like scam. No, concepts. it's not timeshare. No. no, because you're you're buying a unit and then you will allow you can so work you together. you own the piece. Yeah, basically. Uh, it's a condominium in that sense. I see. Uh, but it's a very small uh, room. For instance, I mean, you know, the rooms can be quite small. As small as uh, I think the smallest one is like. Four 
by 11. Mm -hmm. We're talking about a rather small little uh, unit there. Oh, sorry about that, Rich. Uh, try that again. I think that was the size of my cell. Yeah, <laughs> it has that. It evokes that kind of uh, thought process. But if you're just using it as a place to get a little quiet, to perhaps work as far as typing and that sort of thing, and a place to sleep, which is what it's outfitted for. If you can go to fortgalt.com and take a look, you'll be really impressed with the the architecture here that they're proposing. I think it's it's and obviously it's very affordable. So you buy this uh, room, and there's larger rooms available, yeah. uh, and then you can live there if you want, or you can also rent it out. Right? Rent it out as sort of a hotel room. No, well, they generate... assist you in finding. Yeah, they're that? going to be working on that. Very yeah, cool. they're working on that uh, that that part of it. Fortgalt.com, check it out. It's uh, it bears mentioning the chili is, um, it's it's not it's chili in the um, in chili in in the winter. Chile. Yeah, Chile. It's chili in Chile uh, in the winter, but winter is summer up here and vice versa. So uh -huh. when it's chili here, it's not so chili in Chile. Someone's thought about this. There you go. FortGalt.com. All right, our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Let's go to the phones and your calls and thoughts. We can come back to pacifism, too. I don't know if we ever really finished that discussion. We were going to talk about the prisoner's dilemma, so we can come back to that. But first, Jay Noon is on the line. Uh, Jay, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, guys. I uh, thought I would call in and update you what happened. I told you last night that, uh, uh, that uh, West Wind Acres, I'm sorry, what? Uh, Wild Wind Acres, West Wind Acres, I forget now. But anyways, out of, up in here in Greenville, New York, Glenville, New York, the uh, local authorities uh, stole these people's um, uh, horses, and they want to take their pigs. They got a, a little uh, farm operation there, and you know they're raising um, you know beef and chicken and gra all grass-fed, pasture-raised, you know pigs and stuff like that. Uh, Anyways, I was, when we showed up to the court thing, I was about 15 minutes late. I'm generally late to stuff. I don't know why. Um, the, the hearing had just ended, but the parking lot was full of people. They had great support there. There was over 100 people there. Both keepers were there. Um, and it was pretty cool. I had news crews there, and this guy has got a lot of support up there. Hmm. So how'd it go? Well, all it was was they just... Um, there was an adjournment, they called it. And I, I didn't exactly look up what the word adjournment meant, but they basically just gave them a date for April 21st. And uh, one guy told me that the adjournment is where you get them, is in a case is where you get to meet your accuser. Well, the accuser is, is a legal fiction called the people of New York. <laughs> and no people, can, no people said that uh, this Joshua Rockwood hurt them. So... You know, just well, they're alleging that he's, they're alleging he's abused his animals, right? That this guy is uh, he keeps a farm, and uh, they, that's why they've actually taken right. his horses, which I didn't actually realize that had happened. I don't recall you saying that yesterday that the the animals had already been confiscated, many of them. I I didn't know they took the horses till today. Ah, okay. Um, I had missed that part. Um, but they're trying to take some pigs, um, and. You know, it was it was pretty pretty cool standing by watching the interviews of the reporters. There was like a guy who was a neighbor of his that was explaining how he's a really good man. He takes awesome care of his animals, and he was explaining how somebody who's raising animals, you know, to harvest and sell, um, doesn't uh, doesn't abuse them. He wants them to be at the full maximum potential and value. He wants them to be healthy. He wants them, you know, to to live well. So. They prosper, so he prospers. Is basically what the guy had to say, and I'm sure Mark understands that. Also, um, well, yeah, you know, I mean, he. I, I'm going to westwindacres.com, um, their website here, and uh, you know, you probably should look it up on Google because uh, it's it it's not exactly outfitted exactly right for the internet. Because if you just type in westwindacres.com, you'll get a problem. But anyway, um, I've gone there, and and he welcomes people to come to check out his farm. Um, as far as the you know, it's a CSA, right? Like you you know buy pork and chicken and and goats and sort of that you know meat so the public is welcome yeah to check it so out. i mean it seems unlikely that there are many people usually people that go to these farms and want free range animals are very concerned with how the animals taken care Absolutely. of it's it's extraordinarily important to them so they're held to a much higher standard you don't want to eat sick animal or something like that right if people got to see the way that the pork and um chicken that they're eating at uh, you know the coming from the grocery store was treated 
they would never want to eat that sort of stuff again because it's not coming from these kind of places. These these animals are, you know, they have enough space to uh, be animals and, and live their lives. What was the nature of the alleged abuse? The nature of the alleged abuse is that the barn, one of the things were that a barn was unfit for the animals. Um, if you go on his, on their friends of Westwood Acres, there's... Um, uh, they got like 13 or 12 or whatever accusations all written down there. I don't remember them all, but like these people that were given a pony a while ago and they've been working with a horseshoer, uh, the pony's feet were severely overgrown, but you can't just trim his feet right down to nothing because you'll hurt the pony. You got to trim them gradually. And they were in the process of getting the pony better. And that's why they actually took the horses because of, um, from what I understand, what the one of the guys were telling me there today that knows them is because the pony's feet were, you know, overgrown. And they were aware of that. They were working on it. Yeah, so they took uh, a pony but, for somebody else, and uh, then they were working on it, and, and they got blamed for that. I think it's interesting that they're claiming the barn is unfit for habitation because I've never heard of a rule like that. To the best of my knowledge, you can keep a pig outdoors all year round in uh, New Hampshire. I wouldn't recommend well, it. we are talking about New York, right? So, I mean, there's a good chance that the rules are a little bit nastier yeah, in it, New York. Yeah, it certainly could be. I'm just uh, making the point that, well, you know, they're they're not doing anything about the deer that are outdoors, mm -hmm. right? If you just left your chickens outside, what, what you know, what are they going to do about it, really? Um, so if a barn is not fit for habitation, it's still more habitable than the outdoors. Right, right. Uh, so, I mean, it, the support's good. I hope the guy goes in the right direction. I kind of gave him some suggestions. Um, and I was able to uh, to uh, share the ideas of the Free State Project and to a whole bunch of people there that had nice. never heard of it. They were, you know, parts of these, um, like, one guy was, like, part of this secession movement to actually separate upstate New York, he was telling <laughs> me about, which I had never heard of. Yep. Um, and he, he says he has like 800 members in his chapter, and hmm. they never heard of the Free State Project. And, wow. Uh, yeah, get them out so here. I, I, I gave him my business cards and told a lot of people about it. And, you know, it says Free State Project right on my business card. And um, <laughs> they uh, they were like really, really like surprised that something, a movement was actually ha happening. I mean, uh, I had about probably six or seven people that just. They, they really just wanted to hear a lot more. And I that is so exciting. Jay, thanks for doing that, man. Thanks for going all the way out there uh, and appreciate the update and thanks for the call tonight. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. For uh, those that don't know, uh, Rich, Paul, what is the Free State Project? Uh, the Free State Project is an attempt to move 20,000 libertarian political activists to New Hampshire to achieve liberty in our lifetime. And we've got over 1,700 people who are here now as early movers, the three of us included. Uh, and there are over 16,000 people who have pledged to make the move to New Hampshire. So we've got to get to that 20,000. That's our goal. And looks like yeah, we're probably looking at hitting 20,000 in 2017 unless things speed up, which hopefully they will. Uh, maybe you will join the Free State Project. Go to freestateproject.org to learn more and get 101 reasons to move to New Hampshire. There's more coming up. As if chlorine in our water weren't bad enough, now they're adding ammonia? It's true. Some municipalities are now adding ammonia plus chlorine to your water supply. It's a disinfectant called chloramine. But with a trusted Big Berkey water filter, you can keep chloramine out of your water. New NSF EPA certified lab tests show EPA Berkey water filters remove chloramines, pharmaceuticals, BPA, pesticides, bacteria and viruses, all forms of fluoride, and much more. Big Berkey water filters are the original and most trusted on the market. The gold standard in water purification. And our filters last for years at less than two cents per gallon. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get your Big Berkey today. Call 1-877-99-BERKEY or click BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. That's 1-877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. The freeze-dry guy, leader in the preparedness industry for 44 years, is closing his California warehouse. Don't miss out on this huge warehouse sale and receive discounts from 30 to 40% off on the finest mountain house and pack-away brand freeze-dried and dehydrated foods for long-term food storage or even everyday use. 
plus deep discounts on all in-stock survival gear. The Freeze-Dry Guy is offering a wide selection of freeze-dried foods in number 10 cans and even individually packaged entrees. Remember, meats, vegetables, fruits, and long-range patrol rations are the main components for any long-term food storage. This is limited to stock on hand, so hurry and call 866-404-3663 or 530-798-4414. Remember, as always, free shipping to the lower 48 states. So hurry up and call 866-404-3663 or 530-798-4414. Remember, this is limited to stock on hand. The freeze-dry guy is your choice for survival food in an uncertain world. The warning signs. At first, he made me feel special. He promised he'd look after me, provide for my future. He broke every promise he made. Millions of Americans afflicted. I was ready to leave, but he told me he'd change. So I gave him another chance. I was such a fool. The consequences. Things only got worse. He started making my decisions for me, about my job, my kids' education, my money, my safety, my future. He took away my choices, but I kept going back to the same politicians. The diagnosis? Battered voter syndrome. I fell for the same old lies. They were just playing with my emotions, telling me what I wanted to hear. That's not right. Stop the insanity of voting for the same old abusers. Declare your independence from the two-party system and join the New Hampshire Liberty Party today at nhliberty.info. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. You can dial toll-free and bring up whatever's on your mind here. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733, and you can join us online at freetalklive.com. As uh, you mentioned previously, Mark, we do have the AMP program. You can go to amp.freetalklive.com to support the show for 5 bucks a month and help us get on more radio stations around the country. I actually just got a, an agreement from a new station today, so it's always nice when that happens. Can't tell you which one and where yet. but Why not? Well, just because we always like to wait until they've actually started airing the show before we announce things. Because it can look bad if you say there's going to be a new station coming on and then they, you know, some sort of technical difficulty interferes and they don't actually end up coming on for months. It, that's uh, happened. Yeah, it has happened. So we'll just bide our time and let you know when they join on board. But they've signed the agreement, which is always a good first step. Indeed so, it is. So uh, you can help us bring more radio stations on. And actually, if all goes well, this will be our first station in said state in which that uh, station is located. So that's the only clue well, I'll give exciting. you. exciting. Yeah, it's the only clue I'll give you right now. Uh, so you can help us out and get perks like access to the AMP Only Facebook group, AMP Only Forum, and more over at amp.freetalklive.com. Let's go to your calls and thoughts. We got Nathan. He's in Texas via Skype. Hello, Nathan. We have Nathan in Texas. Nathan going once. Nathan going twice. Oh, there is an internet connection problem, says Skype. You know, Skype normally works pretty well, but every now and then the internet just fails us. So our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Earlier tonight, we were just barely kind of scratching the surface talking about the prisoner's dilemma. It was in a during a larger conversation about a strange uh, sort of performance art that revealed some, some of the twisted tendencies of some members of the public 
and uh, we, it led to a discussion about pacifism and what is pacifism, and I think we can come back into some of that stuff here. The prisoner's dilemma, though, Mark, when you had uh, mentioned it on the air, your recollection of it wasn't entirely accurate, and I thought it was important to clarify what the classic prisoner's dilemma is. Now, there are different various you know, variants on the prisoner's dilemma concept, but according to Wikipedia, uh, it is a canonical example of a game analyzed in game theory that shows why two purely rational individuals might not cooperate, even if it appears that it's in their best interest to do so. And uh, they formalized uh, the game with a prison sentence with prison sentence rewards and gave it the name The Prisoner's Dilemma, presenting it as follows. Two members of a criminal gang are arrested and imprisoned. Each prisoner is in solitary confinement with no means of speaking to or exchanging messages with the other. The prosecutors do not have enough evidence to convict the pair on the principal charge. They hope to get both sentenced to a year in prison on a lesser charge. Simultaneously, the prosecutors offer each prisoner a Faustian bargain. Each prisoner is given the opportunity either to do the following, to betray the other by testifying that the other committed the crime or to cooperate with the other by remaining silent. So those are the only two choices that the prisoners in the dilemma can make. Well, they actually they're given one choice and then they uh, you know the ob the obvious fact that they could could choose to do the other. So I mean the, the prosecutors don't give you the option of remaining silent, right? Obviously, but yeah. that's Part of the choice, right? Well, so they tell you that you have the right to remain silent. The prosecutor so. probably and wouldn't tell you that. then they act like but... you don't. <laughs> uh, so, so what happens in the dilemma? Well, the rules are if prisoner A and prisoner B betray one another, meaning if both of them say, he did it, uh, then each of them serves two years in prison. If prisoner A betrays prisoner B, but B remains silent, then A will be set free and B will serve three years in prison and right. vice versa. If A and B both remain silent, both of them will only serve one year in prison. So if they both protect one another, they both still do time. And that was the thing that you had gotten wrong, Mark, in your initial recollection of what the prisoner's dilemma was. So you, you still do better than three years in prison if they both remain silent, and that's the moral approach. Uh, but the idea is, does the prisoner in this case uh, take the moral approach and you know protect his, uh, his buddy? Well, does the rational person is what really the question is. is yeah. how, how, do, you know, how does a rational person approach this? And there is no rational um, answer to this necessarily because you're trying to get the best result for yourself. This is a market failure. So I just figured I'd clear up uh, what the prisoner's dilemma is. We got Jesse in California. You're on Free Talk Live. Go ahead, Jesse. Hi. Yeah, I'm just letting you know that there are political figures mentioned in Bible Revelation that I believe was created by the people's government just to have an example and blame destruction on a godly like figure. I'm just curious before we you go on, one... Jesse, are you a uh, part of this conference call thing? I'm not part of any conference call. No, I just uh, called just to get in on something about this guy talks about destruction at the end of time and okay. a comment and all this. And Yeah. Gotcha. So what did you want to say? Go ahead. I just want to say people really looked up three factors in Revelation. We have a lot of political things that are mentioned here. We have the G7 that can very well be the seven heads of a beast, which beasts have been described as the military, which can be delivered by the Navy, which can be considered by a dragon. Is it a G8 so, now, though? Yeah. Well, no. The eighth power is, is not, and is again, and what? is no more. This is Russia. <laughs> I'm, Russia. So, I'm sorry. Russia, are you, you tricking if, me? If you think about it, <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. If you think about it, the G7 are separate from the G8, and only when Russia comes to the table, they are the G8. Well, what did Putin want to do? He's, he's, he got out. He says, I'm not wanting anything to do with the G8 no more, longer. He wanted to be a permanent member. He wanted the G7 to dump the G7. And just have the G8. Well, they wouldn't do that. So now Russia is gone. So they are the number eight that was and is and was again and is no longer. I feel like laying down now, money, you're going to say Gog and Magog in the next two minutes. You, you're, oh, you are pretty much right. Now, we have talked about. <laughs> I'm a Gog. <laughs> four, four, four angels of destruction are in there, right? Okay. Now, we don't necessarily subscribe to. Oh, are these the horsemen? Are we talking yeah. about pe pe pestilence? These, no, these, are, these aren't necessarily Death? the horsemen. Okay. These are the four angels that are set out to destroy a third of mankind. Now, look where they are bound. Now, angels can be messengers, so therefore they can curious. be countries. Doesn't mean anything. Yeah, they can be countries. 
Countries can declare war. Now, what countries... Well, hold a second. This is the Bible. The angels have... can't be countries. Angels are angels, oh, right? Oh, look up, this look is the up. craziest call look of the, the night, I just have to say. <laughs> look it up the dictionary. It's there's, the most disjointed. It's even like more disjointed and confusing. Oh, than... no, no. There's, yeah, there's, there's yeah. different uh, dialects. Now, if you read it, it can be bound. Are angels you calling from a mental institution? <laughs> Stop it. Just... Be... No, if I believe that in the Bible itself, and I believe that the government... It's going to try to destroy and prune the population of mankind and blame Why it on Why would they a, do that? Uh, I mean, the government entity. basically is a, um, I mean, they're, they're essentially farmers that own uh, humans. They're, they're livestock, oh, no, back in the day. human livestock yeah, herders. They, if, you think back in the, if you think back in the day, these people were really intelligent. They were writing books. They were doing all this stuff. They're right, How intelligent can we now. prune? <laughs> uh, well, if you even consider Jesus even said that he would prune. Uh, trees that didn't deliver fruit. So therefore, look at look at four countries we have in the Middle East. They're bound by the River Euphrates. Okay. They're the only four. They didn't exist what? until after the United Nations created them. Okay. Now, four of these are going to set out to destroy a third of mankind. It's a set out. Now According we have to who? Iran, Iraq, Syria, and Turkey that are bound by that river. Syria and Iraq are now coming unbound. These are two messengers. That were saved for this Are very they coming day. unbound because the river's drying up? I mean, uh, what? Oh, no, 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 no. They're coming unbound government-wise. Look at them. Their government's failing. And okay. it did say that there are four bound at the Great River Euphrates. Does the Bible now, the blame the United States the for causing their go governments to, to fall apart? I believe <laughs> that they expect big government to fall apart. And they know that religion is something that people can hang on to when this thing happens. Yeah, so what will. better way to control that third of the population that's remaining? We all understand the dark ages. Look what they had to do. Did you know that pe people that were bakers, uh, teachers? I don't know anything about bakers slaughtered? in the dark ages. Rich, are you following all this? I mean, they you're just kind of sitting there well, uh, you know, they went out, taking well, it all they in. They went out and slaughtered people, and what did they have um, to do to bring them back? Jesse, have I have no idea. Back if you like I gotta say, I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, maybe it's just, well, yeah. What are you yeah, trying to accomplish here? I mean, what is the point of your call? I'm trying to accomplish the fact that everything they talk about the end of the world, and Who? here it is in Revelation, right in front of you, so that when the, the kingdoms fall and the governments are done, they have people that are out doing like they're doing in Syria. When is the world everybody. going what to would end? If you went out and killed when? somebody, you become more Give of a me killer. a date. You become more of a killer. You become evil. You have to create when? a Christ to forgive you. <laughs> you have to create somebody oh, to forgive you. Oh, Jesse. Oh, Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. Yourself. Well, Jesse, I, I, I'd like to say on behalf of the uh, Church of the Invisible Hand that we want any we will want no part of your god and the reason is that <laughs> any that universe god, which is designed in such a way I'm, I'm gonna put him on hold here I, 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 yeah i'm sorry i don't want him talking over you there rich go ahead any universe which is designed in such a way that in order for it to work out properly somebody has to be nailed to something is a misdesigned universe <laughs> and i want no part of anything where anybody has to be nailed to anything thanks jesse for your call i <laughs> think 855 450 free you're That's, welcome to call in about anything you really can call in about anything that doesn't mean we won't make fun of you though 855-450-3733 yes bring the crazy tonight apparently that's the theme of this evening's show it's free talk live but Normally. even you tried to tri uh. <laughs> good people need help the homeowners association said we had weeds and fined us 25 dollars. we told them they had the wrong house they said if we didn't pay it they'd file a lien our attorney demanded photographs, witnesses, and told them if they couldn't provide this, they must cease and desist. Issue solved. Worry less and live more with LSProtection.com. That's LSProtection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. That's 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. This is Holly Thomas, Group Vice President of Cause Marketing for Macy's. Our company is working together with the March of Dimes through March for Babies to raise money and awareness about the serious problem of premature birth in the U.S. That's why Macy's is committed to raising funds through our employees, customers, family and friends to improve the health of moms and babies everywhere. Won't you please join us in March for Babies? Start a team today at marchforbabies.org. 
LRN.FM needs your help getting our satellite signal back on in Africa. Our satellite provider had us on at no charge from 2012 through February of this year when they pulled the channel off the air. Now we're trying to raise $22,000 to continue reaching people with the message of liberty in places where it's needed most. Please visit our Indiegogo fundraiser at africa.lrn.fm. Give what you can and share the link with your friends. africa.lrn.fm. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats and the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates, online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Tuesday, March 24th, 2015. Gold opened today at $1,194, up $4. Silver opened at $17.01, up $0.01. Cent. And Bitcoin is trading around $255.65. Today's precious metal prices are brought to you by Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. In the news... Two lawsuits have been filed against the FCC's net neutrality rules. U.S. Telecom, a trade association of broadband providers, and Alamo Broadband, a small Texas-based ISP, are asking the courts to review the rules. Alamo has asked the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, while U.S. Telecom is appealing in the D.C. Circuit. Both organizations are asking for a review based on what they say is arbitrary, capricious, and an abuse of discretion, as well as a violation of constitutional rights. The Chicago Police Department has spent more than $120,000 in six months to fight a lawsuit around the department's use of Stingray surveillance tools. Chicago resident Freddie Martinez is suing the city for what he calls unlawful surveillance. The Stingrays are a brand name of cell site simulators, a device which tricks cell phones into thinking it's a cell tower and gathers up sensitive data. Chicago police say the device has only been used to catch criminals and refuses to release details of how they use the new technology. The Chicago PD and other law enforcement agencies signed non-disclosure agreements with Harris Corporation for the use of Stingray surveillance. This has created a dangerous situation where police are often unwilling to speak freely about how the tools are being deployed. France's Prime Minister Manuel Valls has proposed a new bill that would increase surveillance and grant French intelligence services greatly expanded powers. The anti-terrorism bill would allow the government to spy on digital communications or anyone they believe is linked to terrorism without judicial approval. The bill would also require ISPs and phone companies to hand over customers' data to the government, who could then hold recordings for a month and metadata for five years. Intelligence agencies could also place cameras and recording devices in the homes of suspected terrorists. Ball said the bill would not lead to mass surveillance, stating this is not a French Patriot Act. The bill will be debated in the National Assembly from April 13th. Looking to promote your business or cause to tens of thousands of loyal listeners? Well, for a limited time only, the Liberty Beat is offering you the chance to say big while spreading your message. It's simple. Just sign up for three months of advertising and get your fourth month free. Don't miss out on this unique opportunity. Just visit thelibertybeat.com slash advertise and use coupon code GCN in the Describe Your Company section. This is the Liberty Beat for Tuesday, March 24th, 2015. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. One of Pakistan's top advisors is calling for short-range tactical nuclear weapons as a deterrent to aggression from India. Khalid Kidwai said an increase in tactical weapons would help make nuclear war less likely between the two nations. He also rejected concerns that Pakistan's nuclear arsenal was vulnerable to theft by the Islamic State and other extremists. Pakistan and India are long warring rivals who have been engaged in an arms race for years. The indigenous peoples of the Putumayo region of Colombia continue to protest against planned mining operations that threaten their way of life. As recently as March 13th, the communities took part in cultural marches and sit-ins at the entrance of the Ministry of the Interior. 
The people of Putumayo are opposing companies such as Anglo-American, who have been awarded contracts by the Colombian government, which will allow for the extraction of copper on the banks of the upper Putumayo River. The governments and corporations ignore the pleas of the indigenous communities, depriving them of their rights in their own territories. The Liberty Beat is sponsored by Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. Support also comes from the Texas Bitcoin Conference, March 28th and 29th at ACL Live at the Moody Theater. Join scores of Bitcoin experts and enthusiasts from around the world for networking, talks, and a million-dollar Bitcoin 2.0 hackathon. Tickets are on sale now at texasbitcoinconference.com. Use coupon code LIBERTYBEAT for $25 off your ticket. That's coupon code LIBERTYBEAT. This is the Liberty Beat for Tuesday, March 24th, 2015. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Congress today passed a landmark Social Security reform bill they estimate could save the troubled program billions. The so-called grab life by the balls bill includes provisions to cut the cost of cigarettes in half, outlaws helmets, and adjusts the CDC's recommended amount of sleep from eight hours a night to when you're dead. The bill's short-term initiatives aim to immediately cut Social Security costs in half by replacing senior citizens' monthly checks with vouchers for grain alcohol and extreme sports. I, I got this coupon to motor cross over a canyon. Uh, Better do my part to help the deficit. Supporters in Congress say the cost will be offset by the so-called pussy tax on products such as sweaters, vegetables, hand soap, and flu shots. America, would you rather die old, broke, and forgotten, or die a mother legend? The new program follows in the footsteps of the Life is a Cartoon Medicare campaign, which encourages seniors to run full speed off of cliffs and smoke sticks of dynamite. This is the Onion News Network. Talk Live, launching into the third hour of an extra crazy edition of the show here tonight. We've just had uh, not quite call after call, but multiple calls tonight uh, with bizarre end of the world conspiracy theories and uh, that sort of thing. I don't think the Bible really, I mean, that is really brought to mind when people think of bizarre <laughs> end of the world conspiracy theories, right? Like that's what the well, last guy Have called. you read Revelation? Yes, I've read, read it quite a few times. Would you say that it's bizarre or that it's, it's not? not bizarre or that it does not describe the end of the world? Um, I, I would <laughs> use both of those terms. Uh, I think both of those terms are fine, but I think that the average bizarre it tends to be uh, used to describe something that deviates sufficiently from the neem, the mean and I'm sorry to tell you rich we deviate more sufficiently from the mean than people who believe in revelations in the land of the blind the one-eyed man is king <laughs> <laughs> let's go to your phone calls you can bring up whatever's on your mind here tonight for better or for worse mark is in st. George Utah you're on free talk live listening to KZNU hi um, I actually just wanted to bring up something that I recently came across, and I don't know if this has brought up, been brought up before. I haven't heard the show for a few days, but okay. um, it's it's a ballot initiative in California, and it is being uh, spearheaded by an attorney named Matt McLaughlin, and it's called the Sodomite Suppression Act. And basically, it's says the opening part says the abominable crime against nature known as buggery called also sodomy is a monstrous evil that almighty god giver of freedom and liberty commands us to suppress on pain of our utter destruction even as he overthrew sodom and gomorrah and basically the law if it were to you know pass would be that if if you even um uh, it says so if you pass out propaganda that uh, so that's what it calls it propaganda that that tries to make homosexuality you know um, acceptable then you could be fined up to one million dollars hmm. and then it also says that if you practice homosexual activities that you would actually be uh, subject to death by firing squad. Yeah, this wow. is in California, right? 
<laughs> yeah, this is California. And, I mean, this is like, I mean, I'm not saying this is going to pass, but, I mean, when I read this, I seriously thought that maybe this was just a huge troll. No, but... I, that sounds like it could be legit. Well, it, it could be. Um, it, there's an interesting article out there about it um, suggesting that it might be a, a, a huge troll. Really? Um, because... Really, uh, you've got to ask yourself. Um, this is the question that's put forth by this uh, this proposal. This proposition is what it's going to be: is are people in sort of uh, are are they able to rule themselves? And when you look at this, I mean, you know, the with the with the Obama. With the passing of Obama, I think it was in 2008, with him uh, becoming president, also gay marriage was made illegal at the same time in California. And, you know, when you're talking about a major uh, presidential election, you get a lot of people out there. It's not the self-selected group that might come in an off year, much more, much wider group of people. What if this passes? What if 51% of the people in California say, yes, let's kill gay people? It could be any other ludicrous uh, proposal, but it's obvious that this is a nutty thing to do. And if they did it, would they— It's obvious to us, but there are people who believe that, right? Sure. Like, I mean, there, uh, wasn't it Uganda that had a—, a you know, No, they still the got all that stuff, And yeah. Russia— Russia has uh, severe laws against yeah. homosexuality, and I believe they do include something about propagandizing. Yes. You so know? I, I and, don't find this unbelievable because of, you know, there are these people out there. Maybe this guy yeah. is trolling, uh, but it could also be real. Which well, is scary. if it's trolling, then it's a very successful troll because it's nearly indistinguishable from the rhetoric of the religious nuts, right. but yet it brings it out in full, you know, this is really where this nut jobbery lie, l leads is to killing people who happen to be uh, gay. And that's, you know, it would be an epic troll if it was a troll, and maybe it's an epic unintentional troll if it's not. <laughs> Mark, what do I you think? To me, this is almost like like the Westboro Baptist Church meets the law of Hammurabi. Like, mm. I mean, in a lot of ways, I almost see it as a positive thing because of the fact that maybe it will open people's eyes to the fact that there are people out there that actually believe stuff like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what I'm hoping will come of it. Yeah. But. I mean, when I, it was almost unbelievable when I wrote it, so I thought I'd call in and bring it up, you know, since there's been a lot of conspiracy theories today, I thought maybe I'd change it up a little bit. But, yeah, I appreciate uh, that. So I think that this is, um, what it asks, what, the question it asks for me is, is that could this pass somewhere in America? And if it could, are those people capable of ruling themselves? Um, is really the question. If anybody voted for this, and you know that a percentage of the population would vote for this, are mm -hmm. those people then qualified in the future to vote? Because I feel like, you know, I mean, when you when you propose violence against your neighbor um, in this way that, you know, maybe this is maybe this is, should be an indication to you that mm, you're a psychopath and you shouldn't be doing you shouldn't be doing something as important as voting. Not that I consider vote, voting to be terribly important. Well, wouldn't you say that all laws are threats to do violence against your neighbor? I mean, is this really any crazier than the war on drugs? At least they're going to shoot people and put them out of their misery instead of warehousing them in prisons. Um, you know, the, the, I mean, the bottom line is it's wrong to do violence against the gays for the same reason it's wrong to do violence against the Jews during World War II or the pot smokers in America today because we're not hurting anybody, you know, mm -hmm. and that is the point. And Sodom and Gomorrah is actually one of the stories in the Bible which is most likely to encourage facet fascism because uh, in Sodom in the story of Sodom and Gomorrah God commits the war crime of collective punishment of a population for the acts of some of that um, most population of <laughs> and and as a result of which there if you, if you believe this sort of thing then it's easy to say oh well we have to do horrible things to the gay people or God will punish us for our mercy um and uh, well, <laughs> it it's a uh, yes. I, it's it's a crazy story. Mark, uh, anything else you want to share about this? Nope. Thanks for taking my call. Thanks for bringing that up here tonight. Uh, and according to Slate.com, the 
Attorney General in California can't do anything to prevent this from making it to the ballot nope. if it receives the 365,880 valid signatures it will need to make it to the ballot. Seems unlikely that that will occur. There's a, you know, you'd have to have, want to put a lot of money behind this. Uh, they're trying That's to true. go to, the, the man who put this in is a lawyer. They're attempting to have him disbarred. Um, really? So people are going after him um, in that way. Yeah, that's uh, that's what's happening there. Yeah, I'm I'm looking around to see uh, if this guy is really you know just playing some kind of weird joke. According to theguardian.com, it's not his first controversial measure. In 2004, he tried to qualify an initiative that would have added the King James Bible as a textbook in California's public schools. He said at the time, according to the L.A. Times, quote, even if you don't believe its teachings, you'll agree it includes rich usage of the English language. He defended the proposal. <laughs> he defended the proposal as good literature and said it was not an attempt to indoctrinate students. Um, and according again to uh, Slate.com. Well, I don't think that it's inarguable that the uh, the Bible, and I think the King James Version is probably sort of historically the most popular of, uh, version, um, that the Bible is an incredibly influential book. Um, it's interesting how public schools attempt to uh, step around that. I mean, here in the United States, where the vast majority of people in the past uh, believed in the Bible, I think that it's becoming less and less so today. But, I mean, you could conceivably go through high school never having heard one word, one one verse. And this is an important book. Should it not be discussed? Our toll-free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. I want to know if you think this guy's for real, this uh, Matt McLaughlin, the California attorney who's paid $200 to allow this thing to get signatures. That's all that's done so far. It's not on the ballot. They've got to collect hundreds of thousands of signatures, which, of course, anybody that knows anything about petitioning knows you've got to, you know, if you want 300,000 valid signatures, you better collect 600,000 signatures because they're going to disqualify a bunch of them. And the average cost for collecting a signature tends to be about a dollar per signature. So if somebody's got a million bucks, they might be able to pull this off. 855 450 free, maybe, if uh, there are that many sickos in California. What do you think? For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products, most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. Gold, it's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800 686 2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800 686 2237. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. 
So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate. Oof, I think we've all had enough of that jingle, don't you? If you're going to invest in property in New Hampshire, it just makes sense to support a liberty-friendly realtor. Call Mark Warden of Team Porcupine Real Estate for investment property or rentals in the free state. Or visit his website. Come on, you know it. PorcupineRealEstate.com do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything that you'd like. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Some people are wondering if this proposal by an attorney in California to basically uh, kill gay people, and I mean, it's much longer than that. This is a very lengthy, actually, uh, a bill or whatever you call this, an initiative uh, that has been proposed, which very, you know makes crimes out of sodomy and just being gay, period, apparently. Um, is this for real? I mean, is this guy, does this guy actually believe what it is that he is putting forth? Or is this just some sort of a uh, way to point out how ridiculous the ballot initiative process can actually be? I mean, I don't know. I've been looking around here. I've been digging and digging, and all I can really find is just sort of the news about this. I yeah. don't. There's not much history about this guy, although it looks like he did something similar a decade ago in 2004, according to The Guardian. He it suggests he's serious, right? Well, it either suggests he's serious or it suggests he's been trolling the California elections for over a decade, which certainly could be possible. Yeah, at this uh, point, is all he's done is spent $200 to propose a ballot measure that authorizes the killings of gays and lesbians by a bullet to the head or some other convenient method. Right. And, oh, sorry about that, Rich. Try and get, apologize. Jeez, you're always turning off my here. mic tonight. What's, I think what's it was up cause, with that? It was because you were talking to the dog when we came back from uh, the break, so... Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Didn't want that well, going firing anywhere. squads generally shoot for the chest, I'm pretty sure. Is it so? They also don't have firing Never squads. Never been on one. They also do not have a firing squad in California, from what I understand. Isn't it Utah that has the Utah, firing yeah. squad? So, mm -hmm. you know, even if this thing were to pass, uh, you know, obviously it's going to likely be determined to be unconstitutional. Yeah, I don't know how they can pro propose to uh, uh, shoot him in the head when uh, basically, you know, the major metros in California have made uh, handguns illegal. Well, uh, that's uh, with the exception of law enforcement, Mark. I yeah. mean, all, all gun bans don't yeah, apply. They're talking to... about execution by government firing squad, right. not not getting capped in the street. I see. So you'd, you'd get a fair trial to decide if you were gay? Gotcha. I yeah. mean, you would think that— Well, and you'd also—obviously, it's not going to pass constitutional muster. I mean, if this guy thinks it will, then he's delusional. Well, that's what I want to know is, you know, what does this guy actually think? Because— this certainly doesn't seem like it'd be good for his career. I mean, already there are people who are talking about disbarring this man, and apparently there is a movement afoot uh, being spur uh, spurned on by uh, the uh, some of the state legislators who are looking to disbar this guy as an attorney uh, in the state of California. So, I mean, if, if he thought that this was going to bring him publicity that would somehow be good for his business, then, uh, you know, he was seriously mistaken. And to put his career on the line uh, to troll the system is... Pretty heavy duty. 
Do you think that he necessarily knew that that's what they were going to do? I mean, you know, you'd think as a lawyer that you have the right to freedom of speech and the right to use the legal system to put in whatever proposal you want. Well, I mean, maybe he's right. I mean, maybe this uh, this proposal to disbar him is going to go nowhere. I mean, there's certainly it it just could be the politicians trying to make a show for the voters, you know, to try to garner Mm -hmm. votes for themselves. Finding a parade and getting out in front of it. Yeah. I don't know what the law is on the California state level, but I will say that I believe that it's in the Constitution that no federal uh, legislator can be questioned in any other place for uh, speeches that he makes on the floor. In other words, they can't come back and use his legislative record against him in a criminal or civil court, and I suspect that California probably has similar provisions. The toll-free number tonight, if you'd like to share your thoughts here on this, is 855-450-FREE. Mark, share with me how one could go and get Bitcoin. You just go to ExpressCoin.com. They make it easy for you there. Whether you're looking for Bitcoin or Litecoin or Dogecoin or whatever uh, the cryptocurrency is, they likely have it at ExpressCoin.com. They make it easy for you, whether you're in the U.S. or Canada. You just start off at, at ExpressCoin.com. They're licensed money services business, by the way. And they, you can use a money order or a check to to get your cryptocurrency of choice. It's ExpressCoin.com. They even have an app over there. If you use coupon code FTL when you check out, you can get up to $40 worth of the cryptocurrency at no fee. ExpressCoin.com, coupon code FTL. All right, let's. Uh, we're going to try Nathan again here. There might have been some sort of... Uh difficulty with the audio previously nathan are you with us uh i hope so we got you go ahead yeah fortunately the four plug moons aren't uh, messing up the audio anymore um so uh i i wanted to first kind of uh, take Ian's side a little uh against what mark was saying i am also a little cheap and when i see people trying to sell me things i think that's got to be a scam so you're not alone <laughs> um, yeah there's cheap people in the world there's no doubt about it and the thing is, is that it's it's. I think anybody should be skeptical when it comes to a purchase. There's no doubt about it. But at the same time, I'm not cheap. I'm frugal. Yeah. No, you're <laughs> you're walking that line, my friend. You're talking into so, a very expensive microphone right now, Mark. You will certainly pay. You will certainly pay the money for things that you you think are are, are of value. That's that much is true. Okay. So uh, there was a caller a few weeks ago. I think Claire from Wisconsin, uh, if I remember right. Um, she, she uh, called in and she gave uh, some arguments about voting, I think, and then she concluded with the, you know, America, love it or leave it line. Uh, am I right on? I don't recall. You probably remember better than I do. I couldn't tell you what we did last night. Okay, well, I was thinking a little bit about, because we kind of know, all, as libertarians, we kind of know all the arguments uh, that people are going to bring up for government, um, you know, uh, love it or leave it, uh, there's no other way, it would be chaos, there was no government. Somalia. So, I think that the argument that uh, if you don't like it, leave may be the worst argument. And here's my reasoning. Okay. It's, uh, it's actually a dishonest argument because uh, think about it this way. You have to do something to, to have a claim to land. Like you, you can't just say the land is yours, right? So when the Constitution was, uh, was founded or signed or whatever in 1789, uh, the 13 colonies were on one side of the United States and the western part of the United States, like Nevada and California, was mostly unowned or Indians were living there or, yep. or whatever. So I don't see any way they could have a claim to that. So if you had, and I, th- I think the Bundy Ranch situation, the guy may have said something like this, that his family moved there and then they were there for generations or something like this. Um, it seems to me that if they had no claim then, I don't see how they could have a claim now, um, right? If you just sort of, because the, the claim that they'll make is that, oh, well, we provide the roads and the water, so, you know, therefore we're providing something. But if they haven't improved the land or, or provided something or done anything, then I don't see how they could have a claim to it now if they didn't have a claim to it then. So if, the bottom line is if someone tells you, you know, America, love it or leave it, or if you don't like it, leave, and you decide to leave and go into the Nevada wilderness, that's not good enough. <laughs> you can't just go into the Nevada mountains and smoke a joint and upload the video to YouTube because I think we all know what's going to happen if you do that. Yeah, where are you going to go? you got to do that on the Keene Town Square. <laughs> <laughs> then you're safe. Yeah, you might have been able to, because this is essentially what humans did. I mean, there's a, there's a, you know, a variant of human psyche out there that uh, doesn't like to be told what to do. One would assume that that variant over time has kind of gone to the, uh, you know, the, the has been the pioneer, right? Like they're, they're going farther and farther and getting farther 
farther, farther and away. And, you know, basically at this point, there's just nowhere left to go that isn't claimed by some government bureaucrat somewhere that isn't going to charge, isn't going to say that, well, you know, we, you didn't build that. So, um, you know, <laughs> we're going to, you're going to have to pay for all of the momentum of, uh, you know, thousands of years that I, the government represent. And uh, so, you know, cough it up. It's just, I mean, what are you supposed to do at this point? Thanks, Nathan, for your call tonight. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Coming up, since he mentioned smoking a joint, uh, Alaska. Remember the lady who quit her job as a newscaster saying, F it, I quit? Well, mm. her pot club got raided recently. We'll tell you about what happened. 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number. You can also bring up anything here on Free Talk Live. The human body is extraordinary. Despite all the stresses we inflict upon it, it still works hard to stay in balance. Thousands upon thousands of people rely upon heart and body extract to help their body stay balanced. This excellent 100% natural herbal formula helps maintain healthy blood pressure levels, cleans arteries, promotes good circulation, balances cholesterol, and more. HB extract paired with healthy lifestyle choices like good nutrition and exercise can give you a life free of pain, sickness, and fear. Recapture your youthful vitality and experience your body healing itself with the aid of HB extract. It's extremely effective and it starts working in just days. Visit hbextract.com to learn more and to read scores of testimonials from satisfied customers. And we've never increased our price in over 10 years. That makes heart and body extract as great a value now as it was the first day we sold it. A healthy heart is a happy heart. Call 866-295-5305 or go to hbextract.com. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist, libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Are you about to meet the media? If you're about to be interviewed, do their homework for them. Know this about the person who will interview you. He or she is busy, so expect minimal, if any, preparation. He or she doesn't know as much about your topic as you do. He or she isn't as concerned as you are about getting your message out, so you need to take responsibility. Provide a biography and fact sheet, photographs, or other materials that tell your story. Story. Reporters won't be put off if you supply frequently asked questions. Remember, Public Speaking 101, at the end of the speech, what's the one thing you want them to remember? You can download the document I supply to reporters who interview me and squirm through a video that demonstrates how not to conduct your media interview at www.survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. 
Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. Free Talk Live. Dial toll-free to bring up anything you want here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And you can join us via Skype. Skype username is LRN.FM. Just send a contact request first. We'll approve it. And once that's done, you can call us anytime you want on Skype, as long as we're on the air, which we are on the air seven nights a week live here on Free Talk Live. Now, when you're online, are you protected? Odds are you're probably not, unless you've taken steps like going and getting Pro XPN. Your current internet service provider is probably logging all the websites that you're visiting. They're probably logging the search terms that you're entering. And you can go to proxpn.com slash FTL, download their software for free to get started. For Windows, Macintosh, iOS, Android devices, as well as Linux, you get connected via ProXPN, and your internet connection is then encrypted, which means there's no more prying and spying that can be done on you by your ISP or maybe some creepy guy uh, sniffing packets at the local uh, you know, library or coffee shop or wherever it is you might be with your wireless device. Uh, you are protected because you are encrypted, and that's important. Plus, with ProXPN's premium account, you get unlimited bandwidth. You can connect to servers around the world. This is a virtual private network. Uh, you can connect to the Netherlands, Singapore, You know, get into a different political jurisdiction as well. And that helps if you're privately torrenting, by the way, which is another service they offer you at ProXPN. Uh, plus, you can get past regionally blocked websites. You ever been to one of those sites that says, we're sorry, we can't show you this video because you're in the United States or yeah, wherever? I've seen that. Well, if you connect to ProXPN in some other country, uh, one of their other servers, then you can usually Handled. get around that problem. So go to ProXPN.com slash FTL. It's really handy. It's a great tool and helps keep you more private online. And they've got a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. So really, you've got nothing to lose but your privacy. So why wait? Go to ProXPN.com slash FTL. Go grab the software right now. And then when you're ready to upgrade, use promo code FTL50. That's FTL like Free Talk Live. And 50 as in 50% off the price of their annual account. That breaks the price down to about 5 bucks a month, just a little less than that, actually. FTL50 is the code you need at proxpn.com slash FTL. Let's talk to Tom. He's in Charleston, West Virginia, listening to WVTS. Hello, Tom. Hello, sir. How you doing? Uh, good. I'm just going to turn you up a little bit. You're a little quiet. Go ahead. Okay. I was just listening to you all the other night, and you told me you were affiliated with the church. That's right, the Shire Free Church, and also, uh, Rich Paul, you've got a church, too. Uh, yeah, Church of the oh. Invisible Hand. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Well, I was just curious on your point of, um, about religion as far as uh, life after death. As far as what? Life after death. Oh. Um, I, I recommend you go to alcor.org, A-L-C-O-R.org. What they do is they'll take either, uh, they'll chop your head off or they'll put your whole body in liquid liquid nitrogen with the intent that when science advances far enough that perhaps they might be able to revive you. Mm -hmm. uh, Rich, do you want to handle the question from your perspective? Uh, the Church of the Invisible Hand is agnostic on the issue of life after death. We don't know whether the soul continues or not. Yeah, I obviously you okay. don't know until the the moment occurs, right? Um, but I I like the idea that the con that consciousness never really ends; that it just changes mm -hmm. form personally. But many people claim to know, though. Many religions claim to know one way or the other, but uh, mm -hmm. the Church of the Invisible Hand is very agnostic. Well, there that. are some interesting near death experiences that could perhaps speak to. Uh, things that may happen after death, but again, you really don't know for sure. Well, the other thing is that in the near-death experience, they believe that DMT may be, uh, may be released into your system, and I can tell you that DMT can make you feel like you're dying even when you're not. Yeah, I'm actually reading an interesting <laughs> book right now uh, that is about, it sort of compares DMT experiences that they uh, they created in a controlled in laboratory environment with uh, with people and that this was uh, Dr. Rick Strassman is the, is the author of it. And it compares DMT experiences to, uh, to the Hebrew Bible, so the Old Testament, and the, prophes uh, the prophecy, the various different prophets and the, sort of the experiences that they had and shows that there's some striking similarities between uh, the two experiences. So some differences as well, but uh, it's, 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 I guess the suggestion is that uh, you know, DMT may help 
uh, it you know may it may help bring people into a similar sort of prophetic state as to what some of the prophets of the Bible were experiencing. Kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, what do you think, Tom? <laughs> well, uh, I I actually uh, had a car wreck and uh, uh, broke my neck, and um, they said I um, was dead, and um, and uh, I had an out of body experience, and I just thought I was I just want to hear y'all's. What was it like? On. I find these to be the most compelling and interesting stories that surround uh, sort of life after death. I mean, you know, like, how are you going to tell somebody who may have seen something they didn't see it? I think that's really very interesting. So what did you see? Well, I, I didn't know it was me until um, I, I thought, well, that, I was up in the air about eight feet, and I didn't realize what was going on. And then um, I was going um, around in the car, you know, up it was raining, and uh, the paramedics couldn't get me out the driver's side. They had pulled me out the passenger side on the board, and I didn't realize it was me until they stood up and I saw it was me. And I thought, oh, my goodness. You know, this, this, this can't be good. And then it, um, I heard them talking, and, and then uh, it, it lasts about maybe three or four minutes, and then the next thing I know, a couple weeks later. Wow, so you were in a coma after that? Yeah, uh-huh. That's intense. I mean, you know, you can't really tell somebody, right, like, well, you didn't experience that because you definitely experienced it, right? Like, it was very realistic to you, and you were literally over top of the scene, like, in a way that your body could not necessarily experience normally. Right. And I didn't realize, you look down your nose, you can see outline of your cheekbone and your nose. That's when I realized it was me. And I, I said, I can't, you know, I, I looked down and I couldn't see my arms and my legs. Like when I saw me, and I was like, "Oh my goodness!" Wow, I'm being a pickle here. Yeah, well, I'm glad you made it out of it. Uh, Rich, you were going to say? Oh yeah. Well, I've had one out of body experience, but that was on LSD. Really? And uh, yeah, it was an interesting experience. What happened? Three of us. um, There were three of us sitting on a couch, and at one point, I felt like I had left my body and I was looking down at the three of us sitting on the couch from like the upper corner of, of the room. So I was just hanging out up huh. there and watching. There was. Uh, How much LSD were you on? I, Sounds like too much. Well, you know, you, <laughs> I, I don't know that there's such thing as too much. Uh, yeah, that's, think, some there's an things indication take it was too you much. longer to go da- uh, come down than others. But. Um, yeah, I have. Without a chemical laboratory, I couldn't give you any guess how much. Several, I was on. several doses. Several, several hits, wow. and I'm guessing they were about 400 micrograms each, based on the one, the one uh, sample that I did have wow, successfully that's a lot. analyzed. So. so now, when you, okay, so when you were sort of out there. Now, obviously, if you're on uh, s- intense psychedelics, time can shift. Do you have any idea of how long that experience lasted? Um, not really. I was deeply high. Yeah, I guess, um, I guess so. <laughs> not long enough. <laughs> so, Tom, thanks for calling and sharing your thoughts uh, tonight. Interesting question. I appreciate hearing from you, and thanks for sharing your story. Uh, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. So there's a great movie out there called DMT, The Spirit Molecule. Have you seen this, Rich Paul? Um, I've seen parts of it, and it's one of those movies that I've really been, uh, it's on my to-do list. Yeah. I just haven't gotten to it. Move it up towards the the, uh, the top of the to-do list. It's an excellent movie, and it has to do with this group that, again, the book I was talking about, they did these uh, laboratory, you know, they were in a hospital environment. And so very controlled conditions with intravenous DMT. So the typical method of sort of the, the street method, if you will, of DMT is freebasing, uh, which is, you know, to essentially uh, vaporize uh, DMT. Mm-hmm. And they were using IV DMT and, you know, of laboratory grade oh, wow. right quality. And they had people who had had psychedelic experiences before and other people who had not had psychedelic experiences before. And they tested these folks on multiple iterations of doses of DMT and they got their, you know, experiences and sort of compared them and uh, made a very interesting movie out of what uh, what people had to say about it. Wow. Well, if anybody wants to send some uh, DMT to the church, I'd love to have some to experiment with. So, Oh, boy. <laughs> Toll-free number tonight, 855. That's my church, not theirs. <laughs> 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number. Whether you want to talk about out-of-body experiences, life after death, I mean, the out-of-body experience, is it's got to be a real amazing thing to uh, 
to go through. More coming up here. And what does it suggest about the nature of consciousness, by the way? It's Free Talk Live. By now, you may have heard a bit about bitcoins. But did you know bitcoins are now over an $8.5 billion market? And did you know that over 65,000 businesses now accept bitcoins? Listen, if you're already earning bitcoins or trying to make money in the bitcoin market, you've got to know bidbit.co. Why? Because bidbit.co is where you can easily receive bitcoin by selling and auctioning off your own personal items or promote business products and services for bitcoins. You heard right. Whether personal or business, you can now buy, sell, and auction your product and services quickly, easily, and securely for Bitcoin at BidBit.co, the first and only marketplace website to offer BidBit escrow, a proprietary technology which gives buyers and sellers security and peace of mind because all transactions are protected. Start today. It's free to join, free to post, free to auction, and free to bid at BidBit.co. Buy, sell, bid, or auction everything Bitcoin. That's www.bidbit.co. BidBit.co. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy and get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just $19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV Free Talk Live. This is the first time I've heard your program. I'm, t- I'm hearing this person talk about what a wonderful thing it would be if we had legal drugs. Yes, I don't know Andy. where you're getting your information from. I think you've lost your mind. I'm telling you. I'm, oh, you don't want to hear. You no, don't no, want to no, hear I reality. Hear, I want to hear everything you, you want to hear. You don't want to hear reality. Okay, Please, well then. Knock me over with reality, like Sandy. A 12-year-old, you know? I'm telling you what about the war on drugs. <laughs> if you see people on drugs, you might change your mind. Man, look, no, why, my wife. No. My my wife works at a drug treatment center, lady. Oh, good for her. There you go. Good for her. Sandy, okay. I've smoked copious amounts of marijuana. I, I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that a bit. That's probably what's wrong with your brain. I've been around plenty of people that have taken you drugs, Sandy. You got a fact for me, and, uh, Sandy? One of them? Fact? I don't have statistics. Sandy, we're yeah. not asking people to smoke marijuana. We're just saying let's not make it illegal. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. Welcome back to Free Talk Live. We've got enough time for you if you dial in right now at 855-450-FREE. That is the toll-free number, and you can also join us via Skype at Skype username lrn.fm. Uh, Joining you in studio tonight, it's Ian here. Rich Paul. And Mark. Rich, how can people find out more about the Church of the Invisible Hand? Uh, Go to http colon slash slash tr dot im slash 
C I H Church of the Invisible Hand. Now you said those all have to be in caps at the end, right? C I H. Uh yes. You can also uh, search for the Church of the Invisible Hand on Facebook. That's, that's our only presence right now. That's probably the easiest way to do it, and that's where you can learn more about Rich's Church of the Invisible Hand. We can continue with your calls and thoughts, and don't forget, you can also support Free Talk Live, getting the ideas of liberty back on satellite over Africa. We were there for almost three years. Courtesy of our satellite provider, I pay hundreds of dollars a month to get uh, Free Talk Live and LRN.FM on over North and Central America, and they were bonusing me uh, an African satellite for a good number of years. And ultimately, they took us off that satellite last month, so I'd like to get back on, but we're going to have to pay for it this time around, so I'd like to raise $22,000 to accomplish that task. That buys for three, three, years. three years of 24-7 uh, satellite access over a good swath of Africa, like the majority of Africa. Wow. And, uh, you know, it, it sounds like a lot of money, right, Rich? But it could uh, could be a lot more, actually. Well, it's There's, about $500 a month or something yeah, it's it about, breaks down to. That's right. That's about right, yeah. Uh, for a continent, yeah. I couldn't say that's too bad. No, it's not so bad. In <laughs> fact, uh, there's one, there's a satellite over Europe, which would cost probably about three times as much. So it's actually affordable mm. compared to other options in other parts of the world. You can help us with that fundraiser. People have been donating, and thank you for that. Please go to africa.lrn.fm. That's africa.lrn.fm to learn more. There's an Indiegogo fundraiser. Uh, you know, there's some perks. There's a four-minute video there that'll give you the basic pitch of what's going on. And uh, please share it as well. If You know, if you can't afford five or ten bucks to throw in the pot uh at the very least put the link on your facebook or google plus or twitter and, and share it out there if you like what we're doing if you like free talk live if you like lrn.fm and the other great dozens of liberty oriented shows uh, this can help us reach new ears in countries of the world where the ideas of liberty are really needed to be heard so uh go and learn more at africa.lrn.fm as we go to wayne in west virginia listening to wvts in charleston hey wayne Hey, what's going on, buddy? Hey, we're doing a radio show. What's on your mind tonight? Um, I was wondering if you had time for two subjects. I don't know. Maybe. I, the, the, gay thing, the, the gay thing. Yes, the gay I thing. Think, yeah, okay. Well, the for two guys, I say no, but, you know, two women, I mean, why not, right? Um, no, I don't agree with you. I say why not to any consensual interactions between human beings. What is the problem with... Uh, two men, why would you be so inconsistent in that way? Well, because it's a man's world, and I mean, I, I figured that, you know, they need us to reproduce. Yeah, but they only really need. Um, I mean, if you've if you've seen him like a uh, herd of uh, cattle or chickens or whatever, you really only need one man for every twenty or so women, and uh, that means that uh, most of us wouldn't make the cut. And according to the uh, genetic figures that Ian was giving last uh, last Thursday, was it uh, one man was reproducing for every seventeen women? Yeah, historically uh, it's been so very difficult. It sounds like you don't need much more than that for humans either. <laughs> yeah, well, you see, that's why I said you know for two women to be all right, but you know two guys, I don't think be I don't think it'd be right. But the guys have see, to have something to do if they're not uh, being able to reproduce with women, right? Yeah, true, true, true. All but right, what's but and what's wrong with it? I mean, if, if you're saying it's not right, what's wrong with two human beings consenting to have a little bit of fun with one another? Ooh, that's um kind of I don't know. I ain't never looked at it like that. Well, there you go. It's I just guess. people, man. It's just people. People have feelings. People want company. People want uh, attention. And what does it matter whether it comes from somebody that's got a different set of genitals? Right. Um, and and plus, I was wondering too about you know about the the food stamp thing they was talking about. You know, the 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 people of the United States pay for um, all these people to pay a lot of money for taxes for them to go and have the time of their life. The people Which people are these? People, Taxpayers. Uh, He's talking about food stamps. Okay, who's yeah, having yeah. the time of their lives, though? Because I know a lot of people, people on food stamps, and I can't say that any of them are really having the time of their lives. <laughs> I'm saying the, 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 the people that, you know, being paid taxes, you know, the congressmen and stuff like that. 
Oh, yeah. Well, congressmen certainly are welfare whores. I mean, there's no doubt about that. I mean, those oh, guys absolutely. are living large. Uh, hey, Wayne, I do share your concerns about welfare. I'm no fan of that, so so we can agree on that much. And I'm glad you were able to at least see a new perspective on uh, on gay people here tonight. And I thank you for the call and thoughts. Mm-hmm. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And if you're a straight man and you have issues with gay people, just consider that for every gay man out there, there's one less bit of competition for you. So this be true. grateful to to men who decide to uh, go with other men instead I think, of women. I think that's a good uh, perspective. <laughs> if you don't let them, they might come along and steal your girlfriend. They know. They certainly know. They they, they talk about the girls many, love gay guys. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, they're always clustered in women. I'm yeah. th- I'm thinking of setting up something with Marcel where he can kick me some back for something. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Tommy. He's in Glasgow. Tommy via oh. Skype. Ah, great show, lads. Thanks. Go ahead. Uh, just a. Uh, I was just listening there, uh, you know, I, I, well, I, I don't want to talk about an outer body experience I had on acid myself. Oh, okay. Uh, but, yeah, and, and Chief Sitting Bull, uh, before he routed uh, General Custard, uh, his last stand, he danced <laughs> around what we would call a maple, or would, he danced around in a hallucinogenic drugs uh, and was given a vision prior to that that he would defeat General Custard. Uh oh, oh no, we're losing. And, they, and he did. And uh, at the at the time, uh, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we lost you, you there for a second. Hello? We lost you hello? after the vision. Yeah, yeah, the vision, the vision of of Chief Sitting Bull was that he would defeat General Custard, and he did. And I used to go about taking hallucinogenics, acid, and ecstasy. And on my twentieth birthday, after dancing about uh, like a <laughs> lunatic on on an on, acid, I thought it was ecstasy, but it was actually acid. I went back to my friend's flat, and I had the same experience as your friend there, as a Richard, uh, Rich Paul, and mm-hmm. and I felt that I was levitating above where my friends were sitting, and for that few seconds or minute or whatever it was, I felt that I was in touch. With and I had a, a base of all knowledge, and I felt mm. a, a, a feeling of oneness with everything, and that all knowledge was presented to me, and one of calmness, and to be with my family, and to say, you know, you know what, everything's going to be all right. Just chill with your family and do what you're doing, and and be happy, you know, and spread the love. And we'll get there in the end, everybody. Peace out. Right, right on, brother. That's a great message, and I can't say I disagree with any of it. I appreciate hearing from you tonight, Tommy. My first DMT trip also uh, produced an interesting message where uh, I, I actually did DMT, and because of its association with near-death death experiences, and I wanted to encounter my late wife. Mm. And the funny thing is that I did. I actually, when I when I tripped, I had a... Uh, it could have been a hallucination of her. Or it could have been uh, something more real than that. I don't know. But uh, she and she said something to me, which is stop looking for my face and everything that gives you pleasure, um, which Aww. was an important thing for me to hear at that time. So, you know, I, I do believe that there are spiritual uh, benefits to DMT or mm. can be under the right circumstances. Well, when I heard Tommy telling that story, you know, it uh, it made me think about, uh, you know, the other experiences that some folks have had on DMT, which out-of-body experiences are not uncommon, apparently, mm. uh, with, with DMT and people not only just having an out-of-body experience, but sort of just having an out-of-this-world experience, you know, essentially leaving... Mm-hmm. All that you know, leaving the this, the entire worldly experience and sort of mm-hmm. combining your your soul or your consciousness, if you will, back into the larger consciousness. If you believe uh, that you know essentially that, uh, that that God essentially is all of everything, and that mm-hmm. we're uh, our individual consciousnesses are just sort of this uh, illusion, and that we're divided, but it's only an illusion. We're we're all still really connected. Mm-hmm. That he felt that reconnection when he was withdrawing from himself and sort of going back out to the that greater spirit, if you will. You know, mm-hmm. I, I I know that uh, psychedelics have been used throughout the eons uh, for humans to sort of connect with God and what or the other or whatever the beyond, as it were. 
But I, mean, I think it bears pointing out that this could be pretty dangerous, right? Like, yes, you should go to arrowid.org and learn about the drugs you are intending on taking before you do yeah. them. Because you might not come back, kids. There are yeah. risks involved. Know your risks and heroin, cocaine, meth, probably bad, bad drugs. Yeah. And have a sitter, too, if you're going to do DMT or anything psychedelic like that. Have someone who's sober there. We'll see you tomorrow night. Freetalklive.com in the meantime. Hunter. I've been told no in many way? different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you you can go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring Simon to the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa. hey, hey, hey. 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 Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is you ain't going to make. Wait, no. Now. Wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Because you're scared of property. What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's victimless crime spree. Watch it for free and order the director's cut DVD at victimlesscrimespree.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Rebel Love Show is next, live after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates, online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Tuesday, March 24th, 2015. Gold opened today at $1,194, up $4. Silver opened at $17.01, up $0.01. Cent. And Bitcoin is trading around $255.65. Today's precious metal prices are brought to you by Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. In the news... Two lawsuits have been filed against the FCC's net neutrality rules. U.S. Telecom, a trade association of broadband providers, and Alamo Broadband, a small Texas-based ISP, are asking the courts to review the rules. Alamo has asked the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, while U.S. Telecom is appealing in the D.C. Circuit. Both organizations are asking for a review based on what they say is arbitrary, capricious, and an abuse of discretion, as well as a violation of constitutional rights. The Chicago Police Department has spent more than $120,000 in six months to fight a lawsuit around the department's use of Stingray surveillance tools. Chicago resident Freddie Martinez is suing the city for what he calls unlawful surveillance. The Stingrays are a brand name of cell site simulators, a device which tricks cell phones into thinking it's a cell tower and gathers up sensitive data. Chicago police say the device has only been used to catch criminals and refuses to release details of how they use the new technology. The Chicago PD and other law enforcement agencies signed non-disclosure agreements with Harris Corporation for the use of Stingray surveillance. This has created a dangerous situation where police are often unwilling to speak freely about how the tools are being deployed. <laughs> 